All right, aloha and welcome shifters and light guardians to another one of our conscious media creator dojo sessions. Today's topic is learning about Patreon and Discord. My name is Brendan, aka Mystic Spider-Man. Thank you so much to everyone who may be listening to this in the future. Uh, we are uploading the recording of this both to YouTube as well as to Spotify. So for those of you who are checking this out, uh, again, we're creating this online for free so that for those of you who are able to, to tune in and if you're genuinely curious, uh, let this be a little bit of just kind of uh, an enticement and some inspiration to help you get some more clarity and open up your mind to the possibilities of how using Patreon and using Discord may work for you. So of course, just kind of setting the intention here, this is an intentional space to be able to help support fellow conscious media creators. Uh, as always, I'm joined by some, by some of my fellow conscious media creators here within the community. So uh, fellow conscious creators, I'll just bring you guys up on camera real quick and you guys can just kind of like say hello and show some blessings to those of you like tuned in right now. So feel free to like wave at the camera right now, guys, as you guys are just like on camera. So. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. All right. So just moving into this, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to give you guys a quick little overview of what to be able to, to expect from today's Conscious Media Creator Dojo session. Uh, so again, as I mentioned, this is intentional space to be able to help support Conscious Media Creators. We've done five of these. This is our fifth one uh, so far. The ones that we've done prior to this have been about being a creator and embodying our why, building a community and earning income, facilitating events and live broadcasts, mastering content for Instagram and TikTok. So even if for those of you who are watching maybe this one, it might, this is your first time checking out Dojo Session, feel free to go back and check out some of the other ones as well. And uh, we'll put the links for those into the uh, YouTube and into the Spotify info. So you can easily go back and find those as well. So uh, just as a quick introduction, again, the I've been creating conscious media for about more than over a decade since like going back to 2009. And uh, within this, again, a big part of my focus has been on being able to help support fellow conscious media creators. Again, as I kind of continue just like move into other stages within my life, I don't have as much time to be able to put as much energy towards being able to go like full force into conscious media creation. So a lot of my content right now is being able to do kind of like the behind the scenes management of community to be able to help support conscious creators on their path as well. I've been using Patreon and uh, in Discord for several years. I actually started my Patreon back in 2015 and I've been using Discord probably since about like 2017, give or take. I'll give you guys a bit of an overview of what Patreon is, what Discord is, my experience with it, and uh, really just open you up to some possibilities on how it may be something that you want to be able to utilize as well. So again, just as a quick reminder, for those of you who may be listening to this in the future, this is, again, this is just kind of like a lead in for those of you who may want to be able to connect further for the community as well. So within the community, you guys can join my own personal Patreon membership. With that, you get access to our community of conscious creators, access to our Discord server as a leading member, access to me for one-on-one -on -one conscious media creation coaching, and access to ongoing private events as well. So even with the context of like being able to be a part of my Patreon and being a part of the Paradigm Shift Central Discord, uh, we'll be using that as some examples tonight. Since obviously you're here, you'll be able to get a little bit of a feel for what Patreon can do uh, just through the experience of being a part of the Patreon that, that we've created here for this community as well. So again, just as a quick, um, a quick overview of what Patreon is and what Discord is. So Patreon is a platform where people can support artists and creators with monthly contracts contributions and to be able to receive exclusive rewards, perks, membership access in return. There's a couple different ways that you can use Patreon. You can use it in a way where people contribute with a contribution that processes monthly or a contribution that processes every time that the, that Patreon releases a new creation. Uh, that's going to be kind of varied. The one that I'm more familiar with is kind of leaning towards the idea of the monthly contribution, which again, you can think of it as like that monthly membership. And then within that, there's lots of different things to be able to offer through a Patreon. Uh, again, you can be able to offer like exclusive events, exclusive AMAs, ask me anything, uh, hidden videos, early access. It can be, uh, again, like one-on-one -on -one access to you. It can be discounts for items. There's really no limit, relatively speaking, on what you can offer through your Patreon membership. But the core thing about the Patreon and the Discord, relative to the context of being a conscious creator, again, you know, this is about being able to create intentional, sacred digital space. So for those of us who are already creating content on TikTok and on Instagram and on YouTube and maybe some podcasts, the Patreon is a chance for the people who are already fans of your work to be able to connect further. So that's where, again, you know, for people who may already have a well-established audience, audience, the idea of being able to have a Patreon for you is something that could like totally just be like 
you know, a lot of people would hear about that and they're like, whoa, I've been following your content for months already. I would love to be able to dot, 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 connect with you further, connect with you further by joining private events, connect with you further by being able to get some kind of like behind the scenes access, whatever the case may be. But again, within the bigger picture of what we are doing here as conscious media creators, this is about us being able to help assist and accelerate the collective shift in consciousness. Why you would want to be able to create a Patreon, there's two aspects to it, relatively just like two basic aspects. One, to be able to like create that like core community of your bigger community. So you got your bigger community, you got your wider audience, they're all very important. But then you got those people that are wanting and, and eager and excited to be able to get a little bit more further involved. And with that, again, you're kind of sharing more of that like that like intimate energy exchange with the content that's just not for everyone. With this though, this is also about being able to develop regenerative income for yourself. So for myself, again, I used to work in the professional media industry field. Uh, that was something that I started doing well building my Patreon. And even as I was doing that, I'm like, yeah, I, I'm not going to work in like this field forever. This is a job that somebody else could do. I want to be able to do the things that only Brendan can do, right? I want to create the videos and the content that only Brendan can create. And so therefore, Patreon for me was my solution. The idea of literally being able to create a source of income to be able to support me in doing the work ongoing. So that's why for everybody here, for those of you listening, that's why I'm so passionate about even literally just doing this presentation right here. Because as fellow conscious creators with the goal of helping accelerate the shift in consciousness, I am here to be able to help support and hold up the idea and to pump up the idea that more and more and more of us can do what we love for a living and to be able to support and to be supported in doing that, thus being able to continue to focus the energy towards that, thus being able to assist with the shift in consciousness even more. So again, when you're building a Patreon, you can think of this as a like literally, you know, it's like kind of like escaping the nine to five, escaping the matrix, so to speak. With a Patreon though, with the ways that, that I'll share from my experience, it is something where it's going to be different for everyone, which is a beautiful thing because you do get to get really creative with it. There's no limits on it. However, with a Patreon, it is something that I would recommend being able to kind of like work on while also seeking other forms of income as well. So maybe you're still working a part-time job while building your Patreon. But Patreon is something that is going to take, depending on your tactics, and I'll talk about kind of some tactics tonight, it's going to take something that will require a bit of patience. It will require a little bit of patience and persistence and consistency. However, just as a quick example, and we'll get more into this a little bit later, with a Patreon, if you are doing something that's a basic monthly membership, and this is a very simple but totally applicable idea, you could decide what you want to be able to set your monthly membership with. Within Patreon, people can sign up at different tier levels. You can choose how many tiers you have. You you could literally just choose one tier. Say, for example, if your primary tier, it might be like a 30, 40, $50 monthly membership. It might be more than that, depending on what you want to be able to put it at. If you create that membership and then you're creating these regular events and you're inviting people and you're sending out direct messages and you're, and you're connecting with those who are legitimately interested and say in the course of one month, you get like 20 people signed up, you know, that's a few hundred dollars right there. And then suddenly if you do that the next month and and next month and the next month, suddenly you built this base where you're literally earning, you know, like a thousand and then you keep building it and maybe it's a thousand fifteen and then eventually it's two thousand. And once you find that model and that flow that works for you, the idea with, with what's powerful with the Patreon is that you can keep building it. You can keep scaling your community. And then eventually again, you know, like this is something that could literally just <clears throat> open you up to, to a place where you are doing this as your full-time job. You are doing this as your full-time devotion. So for myself, my Patreon, my Patreon is something that even right now I'm really focusing on being able to kind of like build it back up. Again, I've got a baby that's coming soon. So I got some extra funds that I want to be able to bring in to be able to help support my family. That's a big part of my motivation. I still have some other jobs that I do for clients on the side. So I still have a couple sources of income, but with my Patreon, even right now, like the new tactics that I've kind of implemented, which I'll use as examples tonight are ones that are working to the point where even just within this month, I've had about 20 new Patreon signups just within this month, which is really, really good. So with that, again, you know, this is something that with the right practices and tactics and methods and parallel to it is also being able to establish your presence and make yourself seen within the eco space, within the ecosphere of the media realms, you know, with a presence on TikTok, a presence on Instagram. It's a very, very powerful way to be able to help, again, invite people back into a space who 
are excited to be able to help support you. When people join on the Patreon, on your Patreon, it's, a, I've talked about this before. There's a big difference between just saying like, hey, please support my, my Patreon so I can do more of this awesome stuff for you guys. And I would be really appreciated if you support. Some people might be like, yeah, sure. You know, that's totally cool. However, one thing that's different is that it's the difference between asking people to join your Patreon and inviting people to join your Patreon. When you're asking people to join your Patreon subconsciously, it kind of creates this like, this, this almost like this, this energy of lack where it's like, Oh, like, like, please join my Patreon. Like, you know, like I'd love to be able to do this. Whereas if it's inviting, it's like, yo guys, like, this is what we're doing. We've got some awesome events. I've got some awesome content. You're speaking from a place of confidence, confidence that you build up over time, which again, we're here to support that within the community, building that confidence. This is an awesome adventure. I want you guys to be a part of this. Who's with me? Raise your hand, right? And then a bunch of people, especially those of you who have been following you maybe for a while, but even for those of you, that's the thing. You don't need a huge following to be able to build a patron because at the end of the day, the patron is going to be something that is built through one-to-one -one relationships. But for those of you who might have a bigger following, and again, I know there's 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 multiple people here within the community that have been connecting with me recently, and, and, and multiple of you do have um, a decent following following and yet the idea of being able to use a patreon is quite new to you and that's where it's exciting because in that case you know there's a lot of people that have been following you guys for months and the idea for them to be able to have that option to connect further they're going to be people that are going to jump on that so what you want to be able to do is you on. yeah cassius go for it what's up so how do you okay so i've been working on a lot of stuff you already know me so mm -hmm. um i'm trying to balance uh researching and like learning about the universe myself while also teaching all these other people that are always asking more as well like they look yeah. at me as like the source of all the stuff right yeah so how do you balance all of this stuff making content putting stories out all of this stuff while learning for yourself and having a patreon and all that like what would your day-to-day -day yeah. look like to manage all of that yeah. So even again, with, with the, the content that you're creating, and again, if you guys haven't checked out Cassius's content, Cassius, I mean, if you even just want to put a link for that in the chat and stuff like that, we'll put it into the show notes as well. But with your content, like what I'm just kind of like brainstorming with off the top of my head, and we can brainstorm more on this later, like you've got a lot of these really exciting topics ranging from extraterrestrials and astral projection. What I think a lot of people would want to do in, and this will save you time and energy is to be able to create those private membership events. You know, like even if it's pretty just kind of like open-ended to start off with where basically your Patreon could be something as simple as, Hey, join my Patreon. And twice a month, we have some deep dive events where we go into the topics that I'm talking about on my TikTok. You get to ask me questions and you get to be able to be a part of the discussion. We get to become friends. And when you get to know more people in the community, because that's a big part, like the, pay, the value of the Patreon isn't just like, hey, they get to connect with you. They get to connect with the community. They get to connect with other people that are on that level. And with that, again, you know, try it out, see who's interested. And again, I think with your content, that for you will eventually save time because what you want to be able to do is, you know, if you do have a lot of people reaching out to you, instead of always replying to those DMs and really just spreading yourself thin on that energy, people can reach out to you and you might be able to give a short reply and just be like, hey, just so you know, I've got an event coming up next Thursday and we're going to be diving deep into this topic. Check out my Patreon, the links in my profile. If you got any questions, let me know. And then at that point, you know, if they come back and they'll just be like, oh yeah, you know, like this is awesome. Can you tell me a little bit more about it? Maybe answer a little bit. And then at that point, you know, like the information that would basically be what they want to know is already written out on the Patreon. So instead of having the same conversation like 50 times over you're sending them the link to the patreon that says and this is where again the patreon i'll show you guys this is an example of mine you guys have seen this it, it's got the about section in the info it basically lays it out you know it lays it out and it gives them the example and then with that you can decide to keep these videos private um, which i think would create more enticement and then again eventually what you may even want to do this is again kind of what we've done in our community you might want to eventually, as you get more familiar with your community, eventually lead that into what could be like a community podcast, a community podcast that you're creating. And again, I know like Sunny and everyone, you guys have been doing this through New Earth and everything like that. So the idea of being able to, you know, like create more content that will show that you can share with the public and then people will be like, whoa, this is really cool. Now I definitely want to be able to join that as well. So not all of it has to be behind closed doors, but definitely, you know, you could openly speak about this. You could literally create a new video where again, you know, it's like, the first 80% of the video is one of your normal videos. And then at the end, you can just say like, and for those of you who have watched all the way and you guys want to dive deep, I'm launching a Patreon. Da, 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 da. Here's the upcoming events. 
let's go. And, and then with so that, with the go ahead. Ones, do people, do people, um, so people will subscribe to your Patreon, right? And yeah. then from there, what do you put? So do you put, you put videos and like events? So if people subscribe, then they could go to your events is what you're saying? Yeah, that, that's a basic way. And then, so, and again, I, I'm still just explaining over the basics of the Patreon and, and the Discord yeah, we'll get to in a second. No, no, and I'm not saying that to you again, just kind of literally, because yes, within the Patreon, one of the basics of it is that like the Patreon itself is a platform. So, it, you know, it's, it's kind of like OnlyFans or whatever. It's like the OG of OnlyFans, but it's way more established and everything as well, right? So that's why Patreon is a recognizable name. That's why I recommend using it. It's got a really good production team behind it. It's always changing. And again, with Patreon, through your Patreon, much like what you guys see with mine, I send out a post on Patreon, which delivers it to the, the people in the community as an email. And then that email would basically just say, hey, everyone, it's Cassius. Hey, everyone, it's Brendan. Here's info for the upcoming event. Here's a Zoom link. That's it. And that's really it. And you can literally just keep it as simple as that. As we talk a little bit about this further, the idea of having a Discord is something that can contribute to the development of the community and the Discord. And I haven't even explained like, what is Discord? So I'll just explain it real quick. Discord is again, Discord is a community chat platform, which you can use on mobile or and on desktop, where you can basically create different channels with different chats. And you can use Discord as a place to be able to share and organize your updates and to bring the people into the community into a central location to be able to engage further with your chats and also to be able to like receive additional updates about your content and everything like that. We'll get a little bit more into the Discord, but Cassius, just going back to you, does that answer your basic question? Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, it does, yeah, thank you. Okay, cool. Is this already just kind of like starting to kind of like open up some ideas for you? Yeah, uh, this is really interesting because I've always, I've had a lot of people, you know, like lives have always been like my, you know, communicating with people yeah. like on one to one kind of a community. Yeah. So I think that's a, I never thought of Patreon or Discord. Cool. I don't know much about Discord. It's confusing yeah. to me, but um, I'd love to hear more about all this. Totally. It's really totally cool, cool. Happy to hear, man. So yeah. And again, that's what I hope for a lot of people who maybe, again, just kind of listening into this. There's like, they're like, I didn't, you know, like I never really thought about Patreon. Uh, as well. So that's where, again, you know, as a creator, we really want to be mindful of how we're using our time and energy. And truth behold, especially if you've got more and more people reaching out to you, it's just not practical to literally be able to be expected to reply to every single person, you know, one to one to one to one to one. But instead, if you can bring all those people into like a group AMA or a group discussion, then suddenly what you're doing is you're compartmentalizing your time and energy. So the amount of time that it would take to reply to a bunch of DMs, that same energy is going into like a one hour event and then you focus it on that event. And then after that, you know, you step away from it. And, and for me, that was been, that was something that for me, like, you know, really helped with um, being able to, to focus the energy. So um, I'll go through a couple more things with the Patreon, but yeah, with the Patreon, again, you can set your different tiers. So when people choose to join on your Patreon, they can have different tiers, different levels, different amounts that they can sign up at. You can choose how many tiers you want. And with this, again, you know, like basically just thinking of it as like a monthly membership. With this, if you were to have a lower tier, I would keep it quite simple. The lower tier, just using mine as an example, could be something where it's like exclusive access to some hidden videos and maybe a discount for an item shop or something like that. The higher tiers, like the basic tier, there should be like kind of like a medium in tier. That's the tier that gives them the value of like the interaction. That's the access to the community events. Again, that's kind of like what we got on ours. And then there's a higher tier above that. And that higher tier is for those who are really looking to get a little bit more further involved with investing in themselves. And those would be something where you're offering that additional like one-on-one -on -one connection. So again, with mine at the $5 level, that's where, again, you just basically get like a, a secret videos every now and then discount for the shop. At the $11 level, access as a leading member in our community, access to our Discord, access to our private community events. At the $33 level, all of the above, plus additional access to me for one-on-one -on -one inspirational sessions of some sort. And like, I also got some like other like incentives there at the $33 level. So I, I, I promote the $33 level as like the best value level. So that's where, again, you know, for, for you, Cassius, if you did want to kind of include it as a thing where, where, and this is for anyone, where you're offering some sort of like one-on-one -on -one session with someone, that could be, again, kind of like the higher level of the Patreon as well that you could incorporate into that. So... Yeah. Any questions at the moment? All good? Okay. Um, just to like clarify, go, go I ahead, like Alice. kind yeah. of like put things in other things, in other words, so I can clarify. Yes. So it's kind of like, um, 
almost like having a membership for being a consultant in a way mm -hmm. and like providing those services essentially, yeah. but just on your own rather than like through a, an agency or business yeah. or something. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And again, with any of the things that you're providing one on one, um, just be very mindful of like how you're promoting it. Um, unless you're a certified coach, don't say you're a coach. Unless you're a certified therapist, don't say you're a therapist. You know, if you're doing like one on one tarot and stuff like that, that's one of the things that I do. That's cool. You can do tarot readings if you want to do like even like a one on one guided meditation or it could literally just be like a one on one hangout and chill, you know, because again, for some people, if especially if they might not have that type of connection, um, first of all, they want to be able to help support you. And second of all, if you can hang out with them and just be able to like help them get clarity on things or just kind of, again, just kind of shoot the shift with them, so to speak. There's a lot of people that would totally value that. And, and again, and they value your energy and their time. So with the Patreon, one of the things, and this will come in handy with your language when you're talking about it, you're telling it to other people, or at least within the mindset, what you want to be able to do is get people to be able to see your Patreon, not just as ways to support you, but as a way for them to invest in themselves. You know, like when they do it, it's literally something where by signing up to your Patreon, it's going to change their life. It's going to level up their game. That's what you're offering as kind of like the, the outcome, so to speak. It's like, yeah, when you join my Patreon, you're going to get connected further with the community. You're going to get to be involved with like private meditations that are going to help you like focus and realign your life, so to speak. And you're going to be able to like have access to me where I can kind of like work with you one on one. And again, if that's like coaching or consulting, whatever the case may be. So, um, yeah, being able to just be kind of like aware of like what it's going to look like from the viewer's end of things of how they're, they're going to get excited about being a part of what it is that, that you are creating there as well. So again, if you guys do have any questions, just go ahead and let me know, but I'll just kind of keep going through some notes here. So, um, why um why patreon and discord work well together and i'll get i'll just go upon this real quick and then i'll get into uh, a little bit more with patreon so why they work well together is first of all you don't need a discord if you don't want to if discord's like a little bit extra you could literally just start a patreon just with a patreon and then with that you're basically just posting through the patreon and you're just sending out that like zoom link when you have events so to speak and then with the idea of being able to add a discord a discord's a little bit more advanced it takes a little bit more coordination again within the community one of the things that i help our, our patreon members with is that i actually help you guys with building your discord so i actually have like a template that i've already created that we can use as like a starting template and then what and this is what i've done already before i'll do like a one-on-one -on -one session with you guys and i'll help get set up the discord and then you'll be there with me we'll tweak it around and then basically i'll pass it off to you and then at that point it's like something where it's like really easily and manageable and you guys don't have to figure out as many of the bells and whistles one of the things with discord that's kind of hard is the initial setup is just kind of being able to familiarize with things like that so that's something if you struggle with that that's something that I can help with as well. Um, Genevieve, just going back to your question, you're asking, so can you host videos behind levels of membership on the Patreon? Simple answer, yes, absolutely. So again, if you do have, say for example, some content that you wanna have as, as, as exclusive, um, a good example that you could use for this would be something like um, exclusive meditations or, or something of that sort. I have a friend who does this, there's a lot of different people who do this. Um, again, it could be, you know, like extended videos of, of something where it's just like diving deep into a topic I don't focus too much on the exclusive videos. Um, not that I don't encourage people to do it. If they feel that aligns like with the amount of time and energy that they're putting into it, that's cool. Um, but for me, I kind of focus more on like the events value as well. And, um, and then from that also like the discord value as well. So with discord, again, what you can do is when people join your Patreon, they can receive a link for your discord and with discord basically you can set it up so that there are different roles within your discord now with discord there's a few different ways to be able to set it up you can set it up in a way where your discord is purely private meaning it's just for members it's pretty low-key and you just kind of build it very slowly over time however if you do want to build a discord in a different way and this is something that i recommend um, taking caution with because this can be very difficult to manage depending on your audience already you can create a public discord where you can basically just send a message out to the general public and say like, hey, join my discord. But then with that, that's gonna take an extra level of moderation and you use the discord as a way for them to be able to get like additional updates about your content and events. One of the things that's powerful with discord is that 
it gives you a way to be able to send out push notifications to people that choose to join. So people might not always get notifications about when you um, are posting new content on YouTube and TikTok and Instagram. They might not find it till later in the day. If they're familiar with their Discord, you join your Discord. And then within Discord, you can use different tags for users. And one of those tags is the tag called at everyone. And this sends a message to everyone. For those of you in our Discord server, you see me, I use this quite frequently when it's relative, not all the time, but when it's relative. So say for example, you know, Cassie is sunny. Anybody here, when you guys got like a new video going up, um, you can say like, hey everyone, I just posted a new video on TikTok at everyone, go check it out. And if you've got like 200 people in your Discord server, that's gonna let them know right away and they're gonna see that. You can also use a Discord server as a way to be able to direct people to your Patreon. You can say like, you know, this is where you're posting information about your upcoming events and you're posting information about, you know, secret videos, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So the Discord can be used in a couple different ways where you can use it in a public sense to be able to help lead people towards the Discord. But what I would recommend doing is I, would, uh, I highly encourage you to, to limit the amount of interaction available for public users on the Discord to either like a very small percentage of their interaction on the Discord or literally just to the, the percentage of viewership where they can join your Discord to be able to see your updates and to see the interaction from members who are your Patreon members or they just have one channel, which is more of like a public chat channel. And that's kind of like their foot in the door. So when people join on your Patreon, basically what you would do, they would receive the link to the Discord and then you would confirm their username. And then within Discord, you add their Discord username to one of the roles that is for your Patreon members. And then that would give them access to additional chats. And I'll show you guys again, just kind of like my Discord in a few moments uh, as we just kind of go around through this. But yeah, with Discord, Discord is again, a very powerful place to continue to create this intentional sacred space for community and it helps with further coordination and further interaction depending on the project that you are building. And with Discord, you can get as versatile as you want. Um, again, really just keeping it simple where you got like primary channels, which are only ones you post in, which are your, your welcome channel, your guideline and rules, and then like announcement, new videos, upcoming events, information about like your Patreon, et cetera, et cetera. And then you got a series of chat channels. You got like your main chat, and then you got like a series of chats that may be specific on general topics. So that's where, you know, for Cassie is for you. If you were to set up a Discord for your members, you could literally have separate channels, one that's just about astral projection, one that's just about ETs, one that's just about meditation. And like the content that you're already creating on TikTok, it gives the people who are interested a place to kind of like talk about it further. You won't always be moderating the chat at the same time, um, but it would be encouraged for you to kind of like leave questions there, prompt people, create engagement, and um, again, just kind of like building up the momentum and building the relationships of the community as well. Discord is similar to Slack, Genevieve. It's a little bit different. Um, I've used Slack, but I definitely prefer Discord. Slack is more kind of like, I think it's, I don't know, it's hard for me to explain what Slack is for, but I do feel like Discord is kind of like more, um, more, I think, I think Discord is something that's easier to kind of like land into if you present your Discord in a way that's also like visually uh, simple as well. So with the Discord, the simple tactics with the Discord, don't overcomplicate it. If you're building a Discord, keep it simple. Keep it simple for the user and then build on it as you continue to, to build your community as well. So let me just go over a few notes um, back into the Patreon. But again, I'm going to kind of go back and forth because this is about learning how to use Discord and Patreon. So this is about the, the mergence of the two. And again, within the community that I've created, that's basically you know me speaking from experience. I've got my Patreon. I've got the Discord. People join on the Patreon. If they want to, they can join the Discord. It's not even like they don't have to. They'll still get updates through the Patreon for the event links and stuff. But they join the Discord, and that's where they can interact further with the community. In our particular community, my Discord is a little bit different because my Discord is one that's designed to be able to help feature content from our community of conscious creators. So for those of you who are even listening to this in the future, my Discord is a little bit different because I utilize my Discord as a place to be able to serve as a collective media feed for the content of our members. One of the values of my Patreon is to be able to help assist the conscious creators who are our members with their content being seen by more people. Um, I've been doing some more upgrades within my Patreon, just as an example. I'm really 
really helping other members with getting inspired to create events. So you guys would decide on what event I'd be helping brainstorm with you. You pick a time and a place, and then we're posting about it through our page, through our discord and then helping direct the collective audience. So we got about a thousand people in our discord. So it's using that shared discord space to be able to help people see your TikToks, your YouTubes, your events. And again, to be able to help people direct further into your service. So for any of our members, as you guys are creating events, as you guys are creating your Patreon, I'm here to be able to help promote it through our Paradigm Shift Central networks as well, through Discord and through like my own uh, Instagram and everything like that as well. So let me just take a moment here to go over my notes. Does anybody have any questions though, just as I'm just uh, going over a couple of things that I want to be able to mention next? Go ahead, Cassie. Yourself. Actually, yes. So like I like I asked before, um, you answered a lot of my questions that I was thinking about. Okay. But one of them is how would you, so again, how would you balance like doing all of this with also yeah. still learning like how would you right. how did you do that right okay great question so again with that i mean that's going to be kind of like unique for for each and every single person but one of the things that's been very helpful for for me with discord is in certain circumstances not putting so much pressure on the discord to be something that's like constantly happening so my discord i actually kind of set it up where it's basically like a nine to five like i think of my discord almost as like an office space where the chat's basically kind of quiet throughout the night like i'll basically say like be like be like have an awesome night everyone rest well dream well and then after that it's not too active during the night and again that's also because right now our discord is not open to the general public the only people who can type in it are our members and they kind of like know this as well so for me it's being able to create a routine to be able to compartmentalize when my regular events are if i know my regular events are always going to be wednesday um, then I organize my entire week kind of around that. And basically it's just compartmentalizing that time where you don't have to put aside the amount of time that you would normally spend researching, creating videos. Um, but then again, it's just kind of like adding in that little bit of extra slice of time, which is going to be focused on your events. So there is a natural way for you to basically just kind of like keep the rhythm that you've already got built and then just add in that extra two hours where you've got that extra event once a week, if that's what you want to start off with, or once every two weeks. And then at the same time, what you're doing is you're also implementing a couple new tactics where you're getting into the process of direct messaging people who may be interested in connecting to your events and joining into your Patreon. One of the things that I'll just mention here real quick, and again, you were talking about like, you know, even just going live on like TikTok and, and everything like that for anybody here, using your TikTok lives, using your Instagram lives, using your YouTube lives, those are great places to be able to invite people to your Patreon. So when you're talking about things, get in the habit where you're just casually kind of reminding people and be like, be like, yo, and just so you guys know, we've got another event coming up soon and we're going to be talking like, you know, even more about this. One thing that you can do, and I've done this before, I, I've experimented with a lot of different ways in building my Patreon. One thing that you can do, and, and Cassius, if you were to try this, I think you'd be pleasantly surprised to see what happened. Have your Patreon set up, decide on your events, figure out what it's going to be, go on live, start talking to people, and then just kind of like put out the idea that you've got an upcoming event for the Patreon members. And then basically say, like, if this is something that you guys are interested in, drop a 555 in the comment or drop a 777 in the comment, something like that. And then when they do that, basically say, like, drop a 555 and I'll follow you back. And then for all the people that go, doo, 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 and that's what I mean. If you have a bunch of people tune in, you're going to see a bunch of five, five, fives there. And then you basically kind of like go through, you're tapping on those profiles, follow them back. And again, this can be for people even who have like, you know, medium size audience, smaller size audience, it doesn't matter. And then with that, you're sending a direct message afterwards, basically just saying like, Hey, here's the information for the upcoming events in the Patreon. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. And what you would also want to do is basically kind of have like a copy paste message. So you're just kind of like you're genuinely you're genuinely talking to them and you're just kind of copying, pasting a message at the same time. That's just directing them to the information on your Patreon. And so having your Patreon in your profile link, you know, set up a beacons, set up a link tree, keep your Patreon right at the top, make it visible so that people know where it is so that people can stumble upon it, even if they're just browsing and then directing them to that. And then again, with that, you know, lo and behold, you're kind of doing this a few times. You know, if you can even just commit even just like a half hour each day to kind of like putting out some uh, even just like direct messages to people and being able to allow them to respond to you and then just kind of like directing them to it. Another thing that you can do is even just outside of lives, um, and again, especially for you, Cassia, since you got a lot of people who are already interested, feel it out, 
go through your comments, spend some time going through your comments, look for people who you feel might be a good fit for your community. You don't need to necessarily invite every single person, but if you're reading particular comments, you can just genuinely reply to the comment and say like, hey, thanks for replying. Uh, if you're interested, we've got a private community event coming up. Or you literally just say, I've got a, I've got a membership community, a Patreon membership, and we've got some private events. If this is something you're interested in, let me know. Again, for some of you guys here, like I've been, I've been using this tactic, but there's a way to be able to use it in a way that's still genuinely authentic. You can use copy and paste text with it still being genuinely authentic. It's just a process of being able to save time but, but the prompt of communication is still going to be the same nonetheless. And then with that, you know, there are going to be some people who are generally going to respond. And then once they respond, that's when the conversations start getting unique. That's when you start answering some questions and just reaching out to them and allowing them to just be able to explore and let you know if they have any questions there as well. So again, for you, Cassius, literally you have so many comments on your videos. If you were to just spend a little bit of time sending out some replies to some of those and directly letting people know that, hey, I've got a Patreon membership. We've got upcoming events all about astral projection. If you're interested, let me know. And then keep an eye open for those and the replies. And then with that, like I said, you do that and suddenly you've got 10 people signed up. You've got 20 people signed up. And then, you know, you just kind of keep building it, but you're building it at a scale that works for you. Your goal wouldn't necessarily be to get like 50 people signed up within two days. Scale it up, you know, like with the community. And this is the thing that I'll talk about in a bit. You want to be you want to be very patient with how you grow your community. If you grow your community like too fast, it can implode on itself. So you almost want it to be kind of like that, that first inner circle and really just be able to kind of like build that relationship with that first group and then continue to build it out. So even for your Patreon, you might not even make a video about it right away. You might keep it pretty low key and start sending out invitations to people who you know would already be interested people that have already direct messaged you, people that have already reached out to you, that you've already talked to, send them a direct message, let them know, hey, this is what I've got going on. And again, you're inviting them. And if they're genuinely interested, they'll be like, yo, this is dope. I want to be able to check it out even further. So again, going back to your original question, having a routine is super, super important. Um, knowing that it doesn't actually take a hell of a lot of time in addition to what it is that you're doing, sticking to the things that you're passionate about. And um, yeah, just finding that balance. Like just because you're doing a Patreon doesn't mean that it's actually going to be like, you know, a whole bunch of other work added on to what you're doing. What you want to do is kind of synergize it with the work that you're already doing and then just create those routine time slots, be it for like additional events and things like that. And um, you'll find it, you'll make it work. Like the, the one thing that I'll just say that's really, really key for everybody here. If you're feeling like a patron is something that resonates with you, regardless of the discord, the discord could be something you decide later. But if the patron is something that you're just like, Ooh, I like this idea. <sighs> Feel into the possibility. And I'm like legit just kind of like inviting you guys to even just do this right now. Just allow yourself to like feel into what a successful Patreon membership looks like and feels like for you. And to know that it is possible. And to know that it is possible. And so even though you don't know exactly what it's looking like, what it's going to look like right now, just know that what you're doing right now is you're actually navigating your way there and you're going to make little like tweaks and twists and turns along the way. So, um, again, I'm just kind of like, as I just kind of like close my eyes, but you guys can, we can, we can open our eyes in a bit, but I would really encourage you guys to even just kind of like meditate on that and open up your heart to the idea that if you feel a patron, something that resonates with you know that a successful patron 100% exists. And with the patron with mine too, you're going to tweak it. You're going to tweak it as you go. It's not going to be one thing where it's like totally set in stone. You're going to kind of like steer, you can't steer a parked car. So you're going to start getting it rolling and then you're going to kind of like tweak it, get feedback, but keep it simple. Keep it simple to start off with. And if that works for you, then, you know, keep keep with that. So Cassius, does that answer your general question? Anything else? We can just kind of chit chat here too. So. Yeah. I also want to say how would, cause I'm thinking about the Patreon and how good that would be for events and stuff. So how would, yeah. How would it look like for events? Like, how could mm -hmm. we do an event where, you know, like, what would it look like? Would it be on Zoom or like, where could it be so that it's, yeah. it's kind of like a live as well, where you have people up at the front talking and then you put some down and then, you yeah. know, because I, I wouldn't want, because if I were to do a, an event like this, like on Zoom, there, mm -hmm. there'd be a lot of people in it and then everybody would be chatting right. at once. Right. So how do you, how would you manage that? Yeah, so within within Zoom, there there are actually um, different ways that you can set up Dune where where you can do it as like uh, more of a presentation format where you can have okay. panelists 
um, select it ahead of time. That's something we can kind of like go more into details with a little bit later. But okay. yes, like you can you can literally set it up where, you know, um, there's a few ways to do it. If you're like legitimately like, you know, OK, I want to do some sort of panel discussion, which is, again, stuff that we've done here within our community. What you could do is you could have your Zoom as private for your panelists and then broadcast it onto YouTube. And then what you're doing is you're directing the primary community to tune in on YouTube. And then that's where they're leaving their comments there as well. So there's a couple different ways to go about it. If you feel like it's going to be a big audience, I would direct them to tuning in on YouTube and you and I can teach you how to do this. I've done a tutorial already on it where you link your Zoom to broadcast onto YouTube and it's not even that complicated. So there's a few ways to do it, but that would if you're looking to do it in the basic like video way, stick with Zoom. A lot of people are already familiar with Zoom. It's as simple as it needs to be. So yeah, that would be my basic suggestion. But any of the details there, you know, again, that's stuff like as you start brainstorming more ideas, just reach out to me anytime and I can always just kind of like help you figure things out as we go. So does that answer your basic question on that though? Yeah, it does. I'm going to have to, I, I see it. I'm just going to have to like yeah. listen to you more, see what you have to say, because I know you're going to go into it more and I'll probably sure. have to research a little more, but yeah, that yeah. answer. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and again, that's where, you know, even for, for those of you who are just listening to this right now, like this is for a lot of you, you're in the brainstorming phase. So you don't know exactly what your Patreon is going to look like, but if you're just open to the idea that there's something there, you know, that's where working with me and just kind of spending time on yourself, just kind of like, you know, start looking at examples, start writing out some ideas. A big thing, and we and, and this should be again, kind of like the the core of things, even before the before we got into some of the details, you know, it's like, being able to meditate on what is your value? Like, what is it that you're offering? Like, what is the uniqueness of your community? Is your community going to be kind of like niche towards a specific type of people who are interested in a specific type of topic? So this is, again, you know, like, is your community going to be, um, and this is, you know, something that I've helped people with, is your community going to be something that's going to be, you know, like a women's only community? Is it going to be a community related to like mental health, mental wellness? And is it going to be a community that's more going to be like a support group? Is it going to be a community that's going to be kind of like deep dive, diving into wisdom? Is it going to be a discussion oriented community? Um, are you going to be doing like, what type of events are you going to be doing? Are you going to be doing like healing events? Are you going to be doing meditation events? Are you going to be doing like parties and things like that? There's lots of possibilities to, in terms of like what type of events you can do. So again, just kind of being able to brainstorm because you have full control over, over what type of community that, that you are building. And again, a reminder that your community is a holographic reflection of you. So if you can get kind of clarity on, on what it is that you want to be able to offer, then that's going to help the people who really resonate with that feel that vibration and say like, oh, this is dialed in with what it is that I want to be able to, to work with. So um, if it is something that you do want to keep as pretty broader where, you know, it's like, hey, this is a community for people who are exploring spirituality. That's cool. But if you want, you know, and this is again, you know, maybe for you, Cassius, you can kind of lean things more into this is a community for people who are, again, you know, like spiritual seekers here to be able to, you know, like level up and, you know, like craft the philosopher's stone to like evolve as alchemists and really just kind of like narrow into the idea that this is something that you're building a community with people that are a little bit more serious about this, um, if that's something that you choose. But if you do want to keep it more to just people who are just kind of like still just there to kind of like learn and figure things out, that's okay. So again, within our community, there's people that can, people can join, even if they're just kind of curious about it. But my community, our community is tailored towards people who are conscious creators. So if it's something where, again, you feel like you want to be able to provide a specific service and it could be, you know, this is a community for people who are healing from trauma. This is a community for people who are learning how to be musicians. This is a community for people who uh, want to become tarot readers. There's all different types of kind of like choosing what type of niche you want to be able to, to uh, decide to focus on if you feel called to. But again, it could be broad, it could be narrowed. It, it's really up to you. And that's going to be something that I think you'll kind of like figure out as you go. So let me just go over a couple things here. So again, um, getting clear on what you do and what you want to be able to offer. So again, if that's going to be like exclusive videos, private membership events, um, those in itself would be something that I would encourage you to do. Because again, a huge part of the value, and this is stuff we talked about in the other dojo sessions, what you're providing is the, the creation of sacred digital space, sacred intentional space, a space for people to be able to connect with other, other spiritual seekers and for them to be able to be in the presence of others, to be able to see each other as sacred mirrors so that they can learn 
and grow. You're helping inspire people and connect them back to the wisdom of your heart. Through you facilitating space, through you being the facilitator of discussion, that's an incredible amount of value in itself. So if you were to just focus on events, that would literally be enough. If you feel like you want to do exclusive videos, that's totally up to you. As you can see in our community, a lot of it is relative to the events. And that's just because, you know, if I were to try and create like all sorts of exclusive hidden videos all the time, I wouldn't be able to do that. For me, I'm more focused on the the one-on-one -on -one with the, the in-person type events. That for me is like something that I've always been really passionate about. So that's what I lean towards. So again, you can build a Patreon early as you go, adjust it as you go. If you even just create like a basic Patreon, and I would encourage you guys to do this, go in there, create it as create it just even tomorrow and just kind of practice filling things out. And we can kind of just go over some of the basics of that in a bit and just kind of get the template down and then kind of adjust it as you go. And then even if you want, you can start sending out some direct messages to people who you feel would be a good fit for this before you even start putting it out publicly if you want. So the reason why, again, we're doing this, building a membership and earning regenerative income. It takes a little bit of patience, but literally if you were to really just kind of focus on this, in a couple months and a few months, you could be earning like a few extra hundred dollars of income. Uh, this can grow at various various speeds, depending on the tactics that you're using, whether you're using a membership that might be $11 and more accessible to people, or you can, again, kind of have that higher membership tier or those, again, those exclusive membership tiers. That's more like the one on one interaction with you. And uh, again, kind of working more on that high ticket pricing and stuff like that, if you want to refer to it that way. So, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. so again, with the Patreon, though, it really does go parallel with being able to create an impactful impact, like uh, with having a presence on other platforms. So if you're creating a Patreon, everything else that you create is very important because again, that's where you're building your relationships. That's where you're building your rapport. That's where people are seeing you and they're like, whoa, I really resonate with this person. I really resonate with their story. I resonate with their why. I like what they're about. And you allow them to become familiar with you. You're replying to their comments. You're genuinely connecting with them because at the end of the day, it's all about the meaningful relations. Regardless of how many people that you have tuned in and are following you, when one person is watching that video, it is you and them. It is a one-to-one -one relationship. So it's really being able to focus on that one-to-one -one relationship. And again, with that, that one-to-one -one relationship, as they allow themselves to be able to feel like, you know, this is something that, that really resonates with them, it becomes easy for them to get excited about wanting to be able to be involved with Patreon. So again, with the Patreon, absolutely. Like there is 100% ways to be able to do this without it, without for you, it feeling gimmicky. You are clear on what you're doing. You are offering value. You are putting out the invitation and the people who want to be a part of what it is that you want, that you are offering, they will let you know sort of thing. And it's not going to be for everyone and that's okay. But what you want to do is be able to create that clear vibration within yourself. And then other people will naturally resonate to, to what that is as well. So, um, your, so again, your other content establishes the relationships, extends the invitation. Patreon is the further invitation. So I'll uh, just kind of go over a few things here with the Patreon, but again, I just want to be able to answer any questions. Um, when it comes to managing the Patreon, the basic management of it would basically be like posting in Patreon uh, as much as it's relative to you. Sometimes, depending on your community, it might be once a day, it might be once every other day, it might be once a week. But with that, that's basically just saying, you know, first of all, just acknowledging the members of your community and hyping up what it is that if you've got a new video or you've got an upcoming event. So basically just kind of letting them know. And again, you guys see this where I'll post even in the head of, ahead of the week on Monday, I'll say like, here's our schedule for the week. Da, 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 da. And with those individual events on the day of, here's the Zoom link. Da, 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 da. And that message goes right to people's inbox. Um, they don't have to log into Patreon in order to be able to see that. They can literally access it through their email. So it's kind of old school, uh, but it works there as well. And again, with that, the other content that you basically want to be able to do to get things up and running is to be able to uh, create your information section within your Patreon. So it'd be setting up your tiers figuring out what that is. Maybe you've got an introduction tier, uh, kind of like a, a base tier, and then kind of like a special tier. So introduction, private video, access to discounts at an item shop, if you guys got that. Core tier, that's your core membership, that's access to events and, and whatever your main offerings are. And then like special tier, that's more of like the additional access to you one-on-one, -on -one, the coaching, the one-on-one -on -one sessions, whatever the case it might be. So, um, da -da -da -da. And, and again, when you're a part of the work is going to be being able to promote your Patreon, but again, you're not just promoting it. You're letting people know about it and you're inviting them back to it. 
direct messages when relative, replying to comments on your videos, replying to people that, you know, sending direct messages to people that you feel would be a good fit. Don't just send a direct message to someone who's got a TikTok profile that has no videos and no display picture. It might just be, you know, you don't want to spend too, too much doing, doing that. You can literally go through comments and you can kind of like check people and, and maybe you're already familiar with them and use that as a way to be able to say like, oh, this person, you know, I resonate with them. And then you can decide and just kind of like send out a comment, either reply on your post or again, a direct message. So especially for those of you who may have a smaller audience, if you're creating your content and you go to your post and you see who's liking your post, you know, as you evolve things, don't be afraid to even just see who's liking your post. And if you've noticed that they've been liking your post for like maybe a month to send them a direct message and just be like, Hey, thanks so much for being engaged with my content. Uh, I want to let you know that I've got some upcoming private events. I'm starting a Patreon membership. We're going to be doing X, Y, Z. If this is something you're interested in, let me know. So again, you're not, you're not sending them. You're not saying, Hey, here's my Patreon link. And you send them the Patreon link right away. You're basically saying, Hey, here's an offering. If you're interested in, let me know. Right. So it's not like you're just like doing this thing where you're just like showing up and throwing links at them right away. You're, you're, you, there's still like an energy. There's a form of consent. There's a form of, Hey, here's something that, you know, has value, would you like to be able to connect further with as well? Um, Genevieve, just reading your comment. Uh, so you can offer free content on your Patreon too, to help them know uh, what they might be signing up for. Yeah. Again, you know, not everything has to be behind the paywall as well. Your free content would be content that would just be also, you know, like on your other platforms. Uh, when you do posts on Patreon, you can create your Patreon in a way where like certain posts will only be viewable to certain members as well. So a lot of my like free content on my Patreon um, is just like, like posts that are like updates with like um, new content that is already available for the public. My posts that are only available to my Patreon members are basically the posts that have the Zoom links because those are just private there as well. So any of your content that's free would essentially be content that is already going up on your other platforms, on your TikTok, on your Patreon as well. However, one of the things that's interesting with the Patreon is that you can set it up in a way where when people sign up, the contributions will either process at the first of the next month or they process right away. If they process at the first of next month, this is a setting that you can toggle. If they process at the first of you, at the, at the month, then basically when they sign up for your Patreon, say like halfway through the month, it's basically like a free trial for them. Within that period, they can kind of check it out. They can try it out. They can decide whether or not it works for them. And if they want to cancel their membership, that's fine. If they decide to go past the month and they'd eventually just say like, hey, this isn't really working for me. Um, can I get a refund? You refund it. You know, that's totally fine. You know, you honor what they decide is best for them. And again, with the Patreon, you're not there to chase anyone. Like you're there to create something that has a very clear vibra vibration, a very clear value. You're putting out the signal. You're being an ambassador for it. And those who naturally resonate will come. You know, if you build it, they will come. And the people who resonate, again, sometimes it, it is going to be something where you're not chasing people, but you are extending the branch. The creation of your content is extending the branch. The reply to a comment in a video, that's extending the branch. And the direct message when it's relative and done in a respectful and tasteful way is extending the branch. Because there might be some people that legitimately, if you hadn't sent them the message, they might just not have known about it. So if you can use your intuition and legitimately just be like, Hey, this is something that, you know, I got going on duh, 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 and you extend the branch there as well. And again, you know, finding ways to be able to, to let people know about your Patreon, be that just through your story posts on Instagram, be it mentioning it every now and then in a TikTok video, um, mentioning it on lives is also like a valuable thing. So that's where, again, you know, for, for a lot of you who have seen my content, I'll do my tarot broadcast where I'm offering value. Like I'm legit offering value. And then within that, Every now and then I'm letting them know about the Patreon because they're already there. They're already engaged. And again, it's me basically just saying, hey, if you guys want to connect further, this is also what's happening. And within that, that's been a big part of how our Patreon has been growing. And with that, it, again, it's not just me building my Patreon. It's us being able to invite more people into the community. So what you want to be able to do is really be able to make sure that your heart is in alignment with this intention of service. You're not just here to literally just be able to make money, but understand that being able to build regenerative income allows you to be able to increase your global impact. So when you find that balance within your own heart of being able to think of this as a form of sacred commerce, you can honor that energy exchange where you don't feel bad about being able to let people know that, fuck yeah, I've got a Patreon, I'm rocking it. And this is something that I want for other people too, right? Like I would love as many people, conscious creators to be able to build their own Patreons 
because we deserve to be able to be supported in what it is that we're doing. And again, your Patreon may just kind of start off a little small. You may, and you may want it to start small where your Patreon might just be kind of like, you know, a group of five people who are paying $30 a month and you're hosting these events. And with that, you know, you decide how much you want to be able to build it up, but you could also do it in a way where it's like, man, I'm going to get like 40 people signed up right away. And then you kind of scale it up that way. And then your events get kind of bigger and bigger as well. So um, let me just check here with some notes, but if you guys have some questions, just go ahead and uh, let me know as well. So again, the Patreon is a chance for people to be able to connect further. Cassie, did you have a question? Go for it. I was going to say, is there a way you could make events that like people pay like ahead of time? Like this is something that just came, like, is there a yeah, way yeah. that you have an event where someone's just like, oh, it's like, oh, if you want to go to this event, yeah. just pay $2 and then you can get people to just pay $2 and come in and watch. Yeah. So there, there are other ways to be able to um, use that. There's, there was um, like, it literally could be something where you're literally just using PayPal, where people literally just like sign up um, and like send you a PayPal link. And then you just like send them a direct message or you invite people to just say like, Hey, if you want to RSVP for this, direct message me over Instagram. And then when they do that, you send them your PayPal link, they sign up and then you send them the Zoom link. It's a little bit manual, but there are other services. Uh, there was one where basically it was kind of like beacons and uh, you would use it. And, and it actually had like a way where you could basically create an event within your beacons. Uh, again, beacons is the thing that you put in your profile. And with that, you could attach like a PayPal link where people purchase tickets um, through that. I'm trying to, I do want to be able to do some more research to be able to see if there's like another simple service that you could plug into a beacons or a link tree um, without having to use that. Cause like this thing was like, it was like a, a like a widget within like a full blown um, profile link kind of page thingamajig as well. Um, so is there but, a way to do that on Patreon? No, no, no. So to answer your question, no. With Patreon, there's not a way for them to purchase okay. like individual events. That would have to be something that you're using like a third party, like a separate service and website, which I, again, like I said, like there's a few different options that you can do to be able to do those like one-to-one -one ticket events as well. Um, I, I can do a little bit more research on that. And again, we can both do some research and figure out if that is something you want to do. Because yeah, what you could do for some events, you know, you can have it in a way, and, and this is even for the dojo session, where when I was experimenting with it before, uh, and some of my events, like my flow tree events, if people aren't on my Patreon yet, I can do it where it's like, this is a, this is a private event that's available either for my Patreon supporters or for a pay what you wish sliding scale contribution of like $10 to $20 or something like that. So if they do want to do like the one-off contribution, that's a thing. However, if they're joining onto the Patreon, they're getting more value from it anyways, because if they were to literally pay for each event, you know, that'd be like 50 bucks by the end of the month. If they're joining on my Patreon, it's like, you know, 11 bucks and they get all of those events as well. So there's a few different ways that you can do. And again, that's with any of the events. We did um, another dojo session, which you, you might not even want to go back and, and listen to that one as well, Cassius, where it was like all about like creating events and broadcasts and stuff. And we did get into some of the details there as well. Um, but yeah, just to answer your question, no, within Patreon, it's only the one service of being able to create like that, like single purchase ticket event. However, if you wanted to, you could do it in a way where basically you could create a post on your Patreon um, or yeah, you like, I'm again, I'm just kind of thinking this, you could do a post on your Patreon that says, you know, like, Hey, this is the upcoming event. Um, if you're not on my Patreon, here's my PayPal link contribute there and I'll send you the zoom link. So again, it might kind of take like a manual one-to-one -one process, but there are better services where you wouldn't have to manually email people back where basically they would just like sign up and register. There is a website called ribbon. Um, I haven't used it as much, but I think it's a little bit more convoluted than it needs to. I think there's a simpler service out there to, for just basic ticketing. Um, well, another one would be if you even just want to use like Eventbrite. like Eventbrite could literally be a simple one that you could use that one I've used where you could have an Eventbrite link and then people purchase their ticket on Eventbrite. And then when they purchase it, they automatically receive an email with the Zoom link. So you'd create your Zoom link ahead of time. So Eventbrite would be one that I could point you to and say like, yes, that is an option there as well. So, um, cause I've played around with Eventbrite, but I was just wondering if there was like, even like a simpler one. And I feel like there probably is, but Eventbrite could be one as well. So, um, does that you answer? Know what? It could, yeah, yeah, go ahead. It could also uh, use Patreon. I was just thinking, I don't know if this would be, you could do this too, but would you be able to use Patreon as like a, um, you know, people, you know, pay this membership and then, you know, through that they get all, like they could go to all the events because they've paid already. So they pay monthly and yeah. then they get all these events already. 
Yes. Yeah, absolutely. So, and, and that, and that's what you would prefer them to do. I mean, in some cases, if you know, it's just kind of like a special event and you're selling like these like $10 tickets and you think you're going to get like a hundred people tuned in, you might want to do that. You know, that might be like a quick, like, you know, quick way to just be able to earn a little bit of extra income. Again, depending on the creator who's listening to this, depending on your audience, for some people, it might be like, well, I'm going to do an event, but my audience may be, you know, maybe like five people or, or something like that. And if that's the case, it may be like a $20 event. But again, if you're doing uh, an intentional event, what would you prefer? You know, it's really up to you. And, and it can be half and half where do you want like, you know, like a bunch of people paying one off or do you want like a good chunk of those people signing up for the regenerative income, which in turn kind of like scales things up over time. So that's where, you know, if you're open to both, that's great. But ideally, if you're in a safe position where, you know, you're not just staying afloat based on minimal income and you got like a little bit of a cushion, having people on the regenerative income, having people on the Patreon would be your goal over time. That way, so you're moving the needle forward. And then, you know, over the course of a month, suddenly you've got like, you know, like 20, 30, 40, 50 people signed up on your Patreon. Um, and then again, you're just kind of like scaling things up there as well. And you can get to a point on your Patreon where you can be like, okay, I feel like this community is like a good size where you can just kind of like slow down your invites sort of thing. The one, does that answer your basic question there, Cassius? Before I start getting into other stuff. Yeah. 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 Okay, cool. Oh. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay, no problem, man. Yeah, any other questions, feel free to let me know. Cool. Um, yeah, and again, so with Patreon, and again, this is me speaking from experience. My Patreon has fluctuated over the years. Like if you look at my graph on my Patreon, it, it's gone like this. It's gone up and then it's gone down and it's gone up and it's gone down. And the reason why it goes down is because those are periods within my life where my focus was shifting into other spaces. And I just wasn't as actively engaged with being able to bring on new Patreon supporters. Right now, a big part of my focus is with being able to bring on new Patreon supporters. So that's where I'm being able to, again, continue this outreach. And again, with this, it's not just building the Patreon. It's about being able to bring together awesome people and supporting the community and providing value while being able to create, again, this form of regenerative income and sacred commerce that is supporting myself, thus helping me create more further impact. However, with the Patreon, what you do want to do over time is find that balance where you're just doing your best to be able to make sure that it keeps scaling up. Because over the course of a few months, you will notice that some people on Patreon uh, will like they'll 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 move on. And, and that's totally okay. Like again, you're not chasing people. You're honoring people's choice to be able to do what feels best for them. They may try things out for a few months and be like, hey, this was awesome. And I'm going to move on to something else. I appreciate your time here. Again, it is going to be expected that some people will literally just like, you know, either and and, and sometimes it's, it's not even a personal thing. Sometimes it's just their financial situation changes. Sometimes they forget to update their credit card, whatever the case may be. There are times within my experience within Patreon where, you know, to no fault of my own, literally like, you know, like 15 people would like drop off my Patreon within a month. So for me, you know, like if that's kind of the case where you're just kind of like just in the process of building things, that can be a bit of a dent. So if you're finding that balance where you're creating that rhythm, where you're scaling it up and for some people, depending on the creator, depending on your membership tiers, again, if it's like a low $11 one, you know, like that's going to take, that's going to take a bunch. But if you're focusing more on your primary membership being like a 40 or $50 membership, and again, and you're providing legitimate value, you're providing these events. If you're doing like three events a month, and normally those events would be something that you would sell tickets for, for like 20 or $30, that's still a lot of value there. And if you're focusing on just getting, you know, maybe like three or four new signups a month, that can still be okay for you. So it's finding the kind of like natural flow that works for you. But again, over time, just do your best to be able to kind of like maintain that up curve by just being able to find that balance of being able to invite people, knowing that some people will drop off over time. And you'll adjust your Patreon as you go. You'll tweak it. You'll change your tiers and everything like, like that while still maintaining, you know, like the the like the virtue of what it is that you've created your, your community for in the first place as well. So, um, yeah, my Patreon, like it's fluctuated quite a bit over over different time periods. Like there was a time. And again, I'm, I'm not ashamed to admit this. Like this is literally just like the nature of things. Um, right now, my Patreon at the time of this video is 117. The amount of people that I've had sign up for my Patreon over the years, um, it's probably close to like like 400 or 500. 
like over the years, maybe even 600. This is going back to 2015, keep in mind. So that's like a lot of people kind of like signing up and going. And again, like that's just the nature of the community. Some people will come, some people will go, some people will be there for a bit, some people will stick around longer. That's okay. My goal is not to kind of like be sad when people leave, but just to know that that's a natural part of the process. And as long as I know that, you know, like I'm staying true to the value that I'm creating, that's okay. It really is just part of what it is. But knowing that there are always going to be new people out there that are going to be able to benefit from the space and the value and the offerings that, that you're creating there as well. So about this time a year ago, my Patreon was over 200. And what happened was back in around March, I got involved with another project and I was pretty good with my Patreon. And then I totally just kind of shifted and there would be like a few months go by where we had like a really cool core team. And I just wasn't really focused on being able to bring in new people, but just because my energy was like so much on another part of my projects. And then eventually over time, uh, that Patreon just kind of dropped and that's okay. Not all of those members were people who are actively involved. Again, a lot of it um, just with the changing times, it was changes in financial stuff. But now for me, I'm at a very exciting point where I get to be able to, to really engage with the excitement of being able to bring my Patreon up connecting with new people. And again, you know, it's like the seasons, it literally can fluctuate. So just anticipating and knowing and trying not to get too heartbroken when somebody, you know, disconnects from your Patreon, but just honoring the process that that's what it happens while still keeping your vision on being able to be confident in inviting new people into your Patreon as you go. And again, and that confidence comes through the creation of your regular content, your TikTok content, your Instagram content, your YouTube content. And then again, being able to find confidence through that direct messaging process, through that one-to-one -one process, through the lives where you're inviting people and keeping consistent with the value that you're creating, especially it is something as simple with the events. The events, I think, are a great place to be able to build a Patreon around because right now, so many people, they're longing for that connection. They're longing for that community. So something as simple as an event is a simple way to be able to build a Patreon around that as well. So keeping consistent with patreon is important don't let like you know like three weeks go by without poaching posting on patreon unless again sometimes it happens sometimes life happens da, 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 da. but even if it's just a quick update where it's like hey guys i've got some other stuff i gotta focus on i'll be back as soon as i can just do your best to at least just be able to keep them updated and uh yeah just again just kind of like be as real be as real as you need to be in that process so um da, 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 da. Yeah, so that's kind of, um, again, with the Patreon, I'll just give you guys a quick overview of uh, my own Patreon, um, just so we can kind of like walk through this as if we haven't walked through it before. So you guys can see my screen here right now. So again, this is what my Patreon would look like if someone was landing on it for the first time. Uh, again, I've got my banner, I've got my, uh, my name here. Uh, underneath it, it says, you know, is Brendan is creating inspirational conscious media and directing Paradigm Show Central. You guys will decide on what that may be. So, you know, for, for Eloise, it may be like, Eloise is hosting, you know, intentional sacred space to be able to help support those, you know, to be able to help support mental wellness, whatever the case may be. Cassius, it might be, you know, like hosting private community events for spiritual seekers, something like that, right? You can kind of like find the wording for it how you want. And then again, you scroll down here, you can see the basic memberships. And these are kind of like I said, these are my three main ones. You guys can spice these up. You can give them fancy names, whatever you want to be. My first one, which in this case, it's just showing the Canadian currency version of it. For the American, it's 11, 11, uh, 5, 11, and 33. The $5 one, not expecting too many people to sign up for that. That's more just kind of there as, a, as an additional enticement, but to be able to help support those who may be on a bit of a different budget. And again, with that, it's just kind of like bare minimum for mine, discounts for an item shot, access to exclusive videos. For the $15 one, the $11 one, that's the core one. That's the one that most people probably will sign up for. That's the one where they're getting access to the exclusive community events, access to our Discord server where they can get additional access as a leading member, uh, access to me for, uh, in this case, conscious media creation coaching, but it's just direct messaging. It's not one-on-one -on -one video. And again, a reminder for all our Patreon members, feel free to reach out to me anytime if you guys do have just any general questions that I can answer through direct messaging. Still get my discount items for the shop there as well. And then the $33 one, which again, you know, some people may sign up for the, the core one, the middle one, and then they might be involved with it and they might say, you know what, like I actually do want to upgrade. So you want that middle one to be something that 
it's pretty easy for them to sign up to. It's like, man, like, you know, this would, this would cost what it would cost to like go to a movie once. So this is not something that's going to cost me a lot and I'm going to sign up for this. And then a little bit down the road, they might be like, you know what, like the $44 one or the $33 one, that one's actually got better value. And if it is something that they're really interested in, which in this case, again, you know, um, for mine, they receive a, a special item, which again is like a high value item in itself. So that's like an, an extra incentive that I got in mind, the light guardian crystals. And the core big difference is the monthly one-on-one -on -one session with me. Those monthly one-on-one -on -one sessions that I normally do outside of the Patreon, I usually charge those around like $30 or $40 just by themselves. So if someone was not on my Patreon and they want to do a one-on-one -on -one tarot session with me, I'd say it's a sliding scale between $30 and $40. That's cool. Some people, they prefer that. But at the same time, I'd be like, you know, it, it might make more sense for you to be able to join on my Patreon if you're comfortable with that because you get the one-on-one -on -one session and you still get like all of the other membership perks there and everything like that. So again, that's where um, having that one up just being like a little bit extra incentive, but still honoring your time and your value. And that's basically the only difference for mine. I do have a bunch of other uh, ones as well. However, these ones are more just kind of addi additional. The only difference for my higher tier ones are for, you know, people who may be uh, straight up like philanthropists. And then the only key difference is like the discount for the item shop. So for me, I got my item discount shop uh, pretty high. One thing that I'll get into a little bit later is that through Patreon, it actually released like a new, um, a new option where people can, uh, Patreon can print merch uh, for you that you can offer through your tiers where you basically submit designs. And instead of using like another website, such as uh, Redbubble and Teespring, you can literally make your merch through Patreon. And when people sign up for a certain tier uh, after the first month, it would send it to them. Uh, this is something that's a little bit new. I don't use it through mine, but it is something that is offered through, uh, through Patreon uh, that you can check out. Like if you actually look, um, so this is this right here, this is actually um, me creating a Patreon account, like literally from fresh. I just created one with like an, an extra email that I had. And you can see here that this is like a place where it's like, oh, you can like make merch through Patreon. So uh, I'll go back to that in a second. But again, with just mine, taking a look at the information sec section on the Patreon, you want your information section to be pretty simple. So you can have an introduction video there. And for mine, mine isn't necessarily an introduction video, but it's a video that really showcases who I am and what I'm about there. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out that video, that's the Awakening Within the Matrix in Five Minutes video. It's a pretty cool video. And uh, again, it just kind of like gives the vibe of what the community is about. For mine, I got like one paragraph basically just saying like, hey, like, you know, like this is who I am. My name is Brendan. Da, 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 da. I recently updated my information section because a big part of what my focus is right now is to be able to help build the support, not just for myself, but with Lacey and our baby that's on the way. So being very honest with the fact that, you know, like, hey, I'm a I'm a conscious creator. And when you guys support here, this is what you are supporting. So if you guys, you know, have additional information that you want to put in there, that's cool. But literally for some of you, it might just be like, you know, this is who I am. This is my experience. And this is something that I'm really passionate about. And I'm so excited to be able to invite you into this space sort of thing. So with that, in this information section, I just include additional information about what you get when you join at the basic level, like the, the $11, the middle one. It just kind of gives a little bit more detail that wasn't necessarily listed above because some people will read this before they read the tiers and it just goes into a little bit more detail it mentions what the exclusive events are it includes the schedule uh it mentions the discord it mentions the discount for the item shop and that's about it and then from here it also mentions underneath it the special level which is again the best value and it shows like the item that they get and it includes like the mention of the one-on-one -on -one services Everything underneath that is just additional information for um, logistics, such as contributions only process on the first of each month. So if you sign up today, nothing will be processed on your payment until the first of next month. For some people, that could be a deciding thing because that's basically saying, hey, you can get a free trial when you join this without having to pay anything up front. The other thing in here is the information for my profile links. You guys could put this at the top. It's totally optional for you. I just choose it to put it at the bottom because when they're just seeing the preview, there's not a lot of space there. So if you can keep it short and sweet, that's good. Underneath here, um, I put a list and this is something that's just kind of, uh, you can decide whether or not you do this, but it's basically just saying like, you know, like this is it, like if, if you check off these things that I list here, then this Patreon's probably right for you. And basically I write out, uh, you wanna be a team, you wanna be around a team of conscious media creators. So if someone's reading 
reading this, they're like, yeah, that's what I want to do. You're passionate about topics related to spirituality, metaphysics, and consciousness. Yeah, that's what I do too. You're a good team player. You want to develop your skills, da, 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 so forth and so on. So you guys might decide to mimic this. Like, that's the thing. I'm showing you my Patreon so that you can literally study it and almost use it like a template where you can basically just kind of like modify it to your own fitting. Underneath here, I basically got testimonials. These are testimonials from my members. So again, having that, that proof, that social proof, very, very important. People are going to listen to what you have to say, but when they hear from someone else, it really hits differently. So when they hear other people say, this is what I got out of being a part of this community, that goes a long way. So if you've got people who uh, maybe early on in your community and they come out to your event, ask them to be able to say like, hey, can you write a little testimonial about how that event was? And then you can include this a little bit later. It doesn't have to be the right away. Everything underneath there is just more examples of my work because it doesn't really get into that from the start. Uh, there's my videos of Mystic Spider-Man and uh, full-length movies I've done and some comedy videos and uh, all sorts of stuff, including the podcast so forth. So that's just kind of like a short little compilation of the additional work that I do. And then at the bottom, it's just a thank you. And that's basically it. And then within Patreon, there's also a little place where you can create like mini goals. So you can see here, like this is my goal of going towards 200 Patreon supporters. Sometimes what I do is I literally screenshot where the goal's at and I post that to my Instagram stories. So what you can do within the Patreon is you can get your community excited to be able to reach your goals because then it creates an objective. And when you're posting it to your Instagram stories or even to now your TikTok stories, people see that and they see it going up and there's like, oh man, there's other people joining this. Like, I want to join this too, right? Like, oh, there's something going on here. There's a party going on here. I want to be able to be a part of that too, right? And so when you scroll down, if you're, again, not signed up for my Patreon, this is what I would look like. You can see right here, unlock this post, become a Patreon member. This post is literally for this event. And with that, the only reason it's an unlock post is because it has a Zoom link in that post. So we don't want people just scrolling on and joining the Zoom link. The Zoom link is, again, just for members. You guys are members. So when you were to log in and see this, it wouldn't say unlock this post. My other posts, these are posts that I don't have unlocked because they're not necessarily hiding anything. They're examples of the content that I do. That's a new YouTube video. Um, again, that's a, that's a video that includes um, another link for some of our monthly events. Uh, that's me posting about the tarot. And again, any of the events that we have that do have the Zoom link, those are behind the paywall, which basically just means that only the Patreon supporters can get it. So that's basically it. And again, when people go to sign up, again, they would basically go through the process and say like, hey, I want to join this. Uh, they would click on this and then they would basically uh, create um, right here. It would basically just be like them uh, signing up with a PayPal or sorry, with PayPal or with a credit card. And they go through this process just as they would with any shop uh, as well. People can sign up for your Patreon without creating a Patreon account as a creator. So when you want to be able to create a Patreon account as a creator, it's going to look a little bit different for you. So this is where it's going to look like if you're brand new. And this is, again, just a template that I just started today. I'm not actually going to do it, but just to kind of show you guys, this is what it looks like behind the scenes. Uh, you're gearing, again, filling out what are you creating. And uh, you got your profile pic, your cover photo, your about section. Nothing that I really need to go over here, but all stuff that you can check out. You got your tiers. This is where you edit your tiers. Again, the merch. If you guys want to add merch, that's up to you. If you guys are interested, I would encourage you to do it. And again, with Patreon, just to verify, because I don't think I mentioned this, Patreon, the way how it works, it's free to use. I should have said that right at the beginning. Uh, they basically just uh, receive a, 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 a partial percentage of the amount that you earn each month. So if you're earning like, you know, like a thousand dollars directly in funds, then like a good percentage of that will go to Patreon, but it's not too, too much, um, but it's going to kind of like fluctuate. And I think they've actually done some adjustments there as well. But again, that's basically like a platform fee. So it's worth it though. So again, just don't worry about the fee and just keep it, keep focusing on the goal ahead. And then you got your process where you're basically just connecting your PayPal to be able to get paid. Um, that's basically pretty simple. And then your page settings with uh, like backend, like information for like taxes and stuff like that, if that's relative. And uh, that's basically it. And then the other thing that's there is also your welcome note. So this is important. When people sign up for your Patreon, this is an email that gets sent to them. That email you would want it to basically say like, thank you so much for joining. Uh, this is a quick reminder of our schedule. And if this is where you have a Discord server, you would say, here's a Discord link, direct message me to confirm your username and we'll get you connected there. Or if it's like a link to your shop or a link to be able to how to connect with you one-on-one -on -one for uh, any of the additional services. And you can actually send out a different message by tier. So if someone signs up at a higher tier, it sends out a different message. So again, 
not a, a lot of work involved with being able to get the Patreon set up, but when you do get it up, set up, like that's going to just be a, a very powerful place to be able to send people to, to a location, which giving them the basic info and you not having to have the same conversation every time. And you just want it to be clear, simple, and uh, exciting for, for a lot of people as well. So that's basically all I wanted to be able to show you guys there for the Patreon. Um, we will kind of transition into just going over some Discord stuff. I'm not going to go too much longer on this. Um, we've already been going for quite a bit, but I will just uh, take any more questions uh, at the moment. Uh, anybody like, like, is this giving you guys like enough information for Patreon? Is there anything that you don't know? Like, has this been helpful for you guys? Any feedback there, please feel free to, to let me know. So uh, for me, this has been really, yo, yo, this has been really helpful. Well, cool. um, I got a question too quick. Okay. Yes, so again, I've been thinking, because I would love to use this, but I don't like using like other like I don't like putting stuff on the side and like mixing mm -hmm. stuff I just want to use like one thing so if I use Patreon I would just want to use Patreon right in terms of in terms of all of that so would there be a way I could do it so it's like you know um I was looking at like the five dollars and ten dollars like the different the different uh tiers you said mm -hmm. so would there be a way for me to do one more it's like five dollars is like a universal ticket in which you could just go to all events and like $10, you're an active participant. And then $30, you know, we get one-on-one -on -one conversation. Is there something like that I could do? When you say active participant, do you want to just confirm what you mean by that? Yeah. So like, like, it'd be like being on the stage, like you'd be someone talking yeah. with me. Yeah, there, there are ways to do that. Um, if you were to do it where it's like $5 to the uh, events, like I said, I think one of the ways to do that would be to broadcast your event to an unlisted YouTube link. So everybody uh -oh. in the $5 would basically get the unlisted YouTube link. Everybody in the second tier, they would get the Zoom link. And then you would do it that way. That way, so if you have a bunch of people coming in at the $5, you're not having to go through all the names and figure out who everyone is, but that way you you have like your Zoom link and that's kind of your behind the scenes. And then when you're ready to go, you're broadcasting on YouTube and you keep that link unlisted. And basically you just, with the unlisted YouTube link, it is kind of um, something where you don't have a lot of control over it, but you basically just remind people and just say like, hey, like if you guys have paid for the Patreon, do not share this, this YouTube link, that's it. Because with that YouTube link, you could set it up in a way where basically um, they would only be able to view it once they get your email. I'm pretty sure you can do it that way, but just to keep it simple, it would just basically be an unlisted YouTube link. But if someone were to take that link and send it to someone else, theoretically, they could watch it. So there's not, there is kind of like a thing there where there's not a hundred percent control. You couldn't stop someone from sharing that YouTube link unless you, um, I think, manually add their email to the private viewer option in oh, YouTube, so you which you could do. Unlisted? through the like if so the five dollar one for example could be the unlisted mm -hmm. link you could watch it yeah and then the ten dollars you're in the zoom yes right? yeah so you could do okay yeah 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 is that that that's helping you can kind of see here yes yes yeah. Thank you. yeah yeah and that's where again you know with uh especially again since you're already a member here within our community like just let me know because like i can help walk you through the process of like how to connect the zoom into a youtube broadcast um, there's a video that I've already made that basically just is like a tutorial that goes through it. It's not super complicated and, and yeah, it's a basic way to just be able to get things set up there. But yeah, I can see that working well for you, dude, because again, especially yeah. since you got a big audience, you don't necessarily want to have a zoom room with like a hundred people in it. Um, mm -hmm. but if you got like that, that extra, you know, the people who are really interested, then, you know, like those are a little bit more your higher ticket. But if you got people who are just looking to be able to attend those events, the five ticket one, I think is, a, is again, kind of like an, it's an easy purchase for them. Like, that's the thing you, you want to be able to create something that's really exciting and something where it's like an easy, like, fuck yes for them, where it's like, dude, like five. Yeah, of course I'm going to do this. Like, man, I love this guy. Of course I want to be a part of this. I don't want to miss out type thing. So, so you could post for the $5 one. I could do it. So the unlisted link. So if they have me on Patreon and they post and they pay for the $5, then as soon as I do the event, then I just post it and then the unlisted link goes there and they just click it. Yeah. And you, you would post it ahead of time. Like you would post it ahead of time earlier in the day. And, and basically again, at that point, you know, people would know that you're going live at X certain time. Um, okay. and, and the other thing that you literally, and I would encourage you to do this. That's the thing, man. Like, I think I'm very curious to see what happens with your Patreon. Cause I think in one month you could accomplish a lot with it. 
given the amount of people that are quite interested in what you're doing. But what you could literally do is even before your live events, go live on TikTok and be like, yo guys, last call, get your tickets, last call. Like once it hits eight o'clock, we're jumping over to the broadcast, you know? And then people with that, since you've already posted into the Patreon, you got your Patreon in your profile link. Basically at that point, you're just saying like, go to my profile link, go to my profile link, go to my profile link. People are going there and you're not having to do anything. It's already automated. They get the link right in the top of the Patreon they're jumping over to YouTube and that's it, you know? And then if they do want to be able to come on stage, they're purchasing at that higher ticket price as well. So, yeah. Wow. Okay. I, yeah, this is exciting me. I yeah. get a lot with this. Thank you. So do I, dude. Yeah, no, I, I definitely think that again, for the community that you're building, like, yeah, this could be something that could be like, again, and it's, it's building a, a new form of interaction with your community as well. So it's something that the community is co-creating, which becomes very exciting. So, you know, for the people who are investing, when when people pay for something, it actually does them a service because it puts their skin in the game. You know, if you're just like, hey, this is free, more people are going to be like, maybe I'll tune in. But if they're like, yo, I paid five bucks for this, fucking right, I'm going to be there, right? And then it gives them that more of that, that personal energetic exchange that's taking place. So yeah, I think um, you could totally set yours up in a way where even if you're focusing on creating these cool events, the $5 one might be the one that has more signups. And then your higher tiers are again, kind of like more for the people who are really looking to be able to connect at that level. But again, we can totally just brainstorm too. But I agree, I, I, I can definitely kind of like feel the potential of how this could totally work for you as well. So mm -hmm. yeah, 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 cool. Um, yeah, we can definitely talk more about it later. Anything else right now? Um, I'm good, I don't know if anybody That's else good? anymore. Okay, okay, cool. Um, okay, cool. Eloise, is this, is this helpful for you, Eloise? Do you wanna even just like share like how this is sounding from your end? Yes, this is this is great. So okay, basically, cool. I work in state government right now, and mm. it's such a to toxic environment and culture. And I've been wow. on like a thousand freaking interviews, and it's it's just not like work. I get through so like to the last like level. I feel like I'm in like Bowser's castle, and I'm like I'm uh. about to free Peach, Princess Peach, <laughs> and then like he kills me, and and so I can't get past that like final interview and get hired somewhere else and I actually so this week I had a job at a museum and I was like I'm so excited for a museum job like that would be so cool and then it like didn't happen and so I was like devastated and so mm -hmm. I just but it helped me um that in combination with everything that like you're doing Brendan and joining and joining like the paradigm shift central has really brought me to the space of where I want to create spaces where we can have mm -hmm. difficult conversations, bring together like ideas of empathy and critical thinking and use like evidence-based research and person like people's lived experiences and stories together to inform um policy and like progressive policy and like move forward um certain things like equity in in different ways like like health equity and economic equity and like racial justice stuff and and that's kind of stuff i'm interested in um but i also like kind of like you I also like do tarot and I yeah. was I recently told that I'm a healer and I need to be like following that path um which kind of makes sense to me because I've always been like super empathic but um so this has been really helpful and just kind of helping me solidify there's kind of like two two parallel paths I'm going down right now it's like one finding my modality of like what I want to do as a healer yeah. and like what I want to put out into the world but also like kind of emulate what you're doing and the position I was yeah. interviewing for at the museum was actually very similar um, mm -hmm. in that sense of they were bringing together different types of experts and different types of people to inform um, policy at like the state level and um, <clears throat> so, so you want to do something like this as like a new income stream yeah and so yeah. but I am currently working like a 50 hour plus job so it's going to be like you said a very slow kind of, process yeah. and I'm very so this is just my first kind of like um putting the feelers out there and yeah. like learning and educating myself on this stuff so that when I am ready I can cool. set it all up and do it efficiently um yeah. I'm kind of a planner that way I'm a Virgo so yeah I like to plan fit. <laughs> cool um, yeah <laughs> 
Hi. But yeah, so this has been great. And I, I, I love, I, I've been, I love like the community you've created and the way that you, have it's like you're in my brain. The way you described everything was exactly how like I became interested in <laughs> being in this community. And, and yeah. I've been thinking about, I want to move up to the next level and start doing like more one-on-ones eventually. But yeah. like right now I'm just not in that place because I was doing all those interviews and I'm like just mm-hmm. really busy right now. But yeah, totally. um, as I move forward and progress, like um, it all makes sense. Like what you communicated, like oh. really solidified the experience that I had. And so it made it make sense for how I could do that for others. Cool. Yeah. Like, and again, I, I'm sure, you know, over time, like we'll have more of the brainstorming stuff. And, and I forgot to mention this way at the beginning um, for those of you in the recording again, you know, for our Patreon members, uh, once a week, we have our conscious creator collaboration circles. Those are Tuesdays, 4 p.m. EDT. Uh, again, that's kind of like a group coaching call. That's where we collaborate. That's where if you guys got events, you can let me know what we're doing. We can work as a team. Uh, again, for those of you who are members, just reach out to me anytime and we can always set up like one-on-one stuff. The one-on-one sessions are really good just to be able to help you guys get additional clarity. We're basically like, I'm basically just giving you access to my brain where if you're just like, oh, like I'm trying to figure something out yeah. and I'm just like, here, talk to me about it. And then suddenly, you know, it just kind of opens things up or at least just gives you the next steps of what you want to do. So that's where, yeah, for Eloise, again, you know, with the kind of like weeks unfolding and stuff like that, I would just, you know, keep kind of like brainstorming, you know, like if, if I were to host some private events, what would those look like? What would they be focused on? What would those discussions be? And then again, you know, like if you're kind of leaning more into this modality of healing, I could see some very, very powerful events. Again, just, just starting to get to know you, you know, again, again, events related to, you know, very like heart oriented healing um, related to like mental wellness, whatever it is that you feel again, really drawing from like your own experiences and everything. Mm-hmm. And, you know, like, like, as much as as niche as you want it to be is totally up to you but you know like i would love to see a community that's like a conscious community for people who are neurodivergent you know like imagine like a, an intentional safe space where people can like really feel like they're just like amongst people who who get them and who are supported and again you know like if that's something that you feel called to do um it might not be something that would reach as wide of a community but it might be something where it's like this is what i feel called to do and then you yeah. just kind of like slowly grow it over time and it might grow beyond that or something like that you know yes. so. and actually that is one of the directions i've been thinking about and yeah. actually trying to find out ways to have the neuro like have more um effective like modes of communication and spaces where neurodivergent people and neurotypical people can like come together and like still feel safe and still like make progress because I think that we all have like those gifts and something special to bring to the table and it's just like being open to that and allowing people to bring those and not like shutting them down because you don't like understand their thought pattern or they're too out there for you i get a lot of like wow yeah. you went like way overboard with that and i'm like well you we have to ask these questions because like if you don't know how far is too far you're not going to know how far you need to go yeah no there's definitely again i think there's definitely again with conscious creators like a big thing we want to do is like figure out where there's a need and then provide that you know so it's like oh people want to be able to talk about spirituality in private groups and be a part of awesome events or have these discussions and then you create the space um Again, something I'm definitely down to just be able to brainstorm on right now. If you guys are cool with it, I'd love to just kind of like go through the rest of the Discord stuff that I want to go over and then get this broadcast wrapped up as soon as we can. Uh, It's gone a little bit longer than I planned and I do just want to be able to like honor everyone's time. So is that okay with you guys? Is that cool? Candice, I know you're you're listening in intently. So is that okay with everyone? You guys are all good with that? Yeah. I just want to say that I think it's awesome to create a platform where everybody can bring their um, talents Mm -hmm. to the floor and um, make a difference Mm -hmm. in their art that that they create because um, that's really important. And Mm -hmm. whoever jumps on in the circle is meant to be like the support. Like I know for me, 
I will support all of you Thank all you, the time. So Thank I'm you, always Kim. I'm always here and I I'm one of the Patreon supporters. So glad to be here. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Candace. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And again, you know, like that's, that's one of the cool things here within our community is that like, we got like a good variety of events. So like some of our events are like, you know, talking business and talking tactics. That's a lot of what this is. Then we got our other events and they're more casual. And then we got like, you know, next week is actually our flowetry event, which is going to be pretty cool as well. Um, Dream circle coming up this Saturday. I know some of you guys are going to be there for that. So again, that. Yes. <laughs> so, um, and again, for, for anybody here who's tuned in in that, you know, those of you listening in the future as well, it's not too late, though. It's a twice a twice a week, twice a month, rather a dream circle discussion with me and Lacey. But anyways, again, you know, with you guys in the community, like, yeah, you may find that you might want to do like a variety of different events. It's totally up to you. So i um, going to just jump into the discord stuff. Vincent, did you have any other questions about the Patreon just before I switch things over to the discord stuff? And I'm just going to go through it really quick with you guys. Oh. Um, um, I think you hit it all. If anything, I'll just okay. type it in, in the chat. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So let's keep things rolling here. Okay. So, da, 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 da. so with Discord, let me just get my notes in place here. Good to roll through this pretty quick. So again, Discord is something that I started using probably about 2016, 2017. Discord is a chat platform that has recently become much more popular. It originally started off as basically just a platform for people who play video games to communicate with each other and to use for voice chat. So within Discord, it has a variety of features. It's a place where people can leave chat messages, but then it also has voice channels where people can communicate. So Discord, again, with Patreon is very powerful because Discord, you can set it up with roles. You have your admin roles that can only that can post specifically in certain channels. And then you've got a variety of membership roles. What you create for those membership roles is totally up to you. You can have membership roles where basically people can, you know, like um, only view the channels. And that may be something where when they join, they can just view. And then when they join as a membership on Patreon, then they get access to more channels as well. So with Patreon, one of the things, like I said, that's powerful about it is that it gives you a place to be able to send out notifications for your upcoming events, for your services, uh, for your new videos. It gives you a place to be able to bring the community together who really value your content and to be able to connect with you further, connect with the community further, and to receive your updates in one convenient spot. Truth be told, you can't really depend on the algorithm um, consistently remaining what it is on TikTok and Instagram. That will change over time. Even for myself, like there was a period like my TikTok, like, man, like videos were going viral every other day and, and, and it was getting some pretty decent reach. You know, fast forward like a year later, I'm lucky if I get like 800 views on a TikTok. And, and that's like my content is still, you know, like I'm still putting as much heart into it, but it's just for whatever reason, the algorithm, I don't really have full control over that. I'm going to keep creating meaningful content. However, it's not something that I'm too, too bothered by because I've spent a lot of time being able to, to utilize my resources to bring people from my TikTok audience, from my Instagram audience to the discord so discord is essentially a place that you want to move people to if they're on your TikTok, if you're on your dis your instagram move them to your discord now again with discord and i'll show you guys my discord in a second we'll just use it as an example you can set it up in a couple different ways if you're feeling like you want to just create a private discord that's totally cool if you're creating more of a public discord you can create it in a way where people land on it and maybe there's a public chat channel and they can kind of communicate and they can have multiple chat channels with different topics and you can have people engaging there and then you can still have additional channels which are only for certain members such as your patreon members however like i said with the patreon thinking of it as a sacred digital space kind of like a party kind of like a festival it's very important to have that first inner circle um, established before you start bringing in new people i've seen i've worked with fellow conscious creators that already had big followings and um there was a couple of them and and they chose they're like they're like you know what i just want to make my patreon just totally open to the public and then they made some videos and they were just like, hey, everyone, come into the Patreon or sorry, come into the Discord, create their uh, go back. I think I said Patreon, I said Discord. I want to create my Discord totally for the public. Hey, everyone, come into my Discord. And they posted in the profile link. And lo and behold, one of their videos that have already gone viral, boom, 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 boom. Like hundreds of people are joining their Discord. It was a shitstorm. 
it was great for like a little bit, but it was not practical. It was not something that they could manage. You would literally need moderators on board 24 seven, or you can set it up in a way where basically the chat is on and then the chat is turned off, which you can do. There's little toggles and switches where basically if you're like, hey everyone, good night for the evening, chat's off, boom, turn it off. And that's just is what it is. If people wanna complain about, they wanna complain about that. You're creating the space, you can create the guidelines, you can create the way that you use it. So um, I would recommend, again, you know, being very like meditative on how you want to be able to use your Discord. If you're a smaller community, create that private community on your Discord. If you're a bigger space and you're trying to bring people in, go ahead and try and create that public one, but create it with limited access. And again, even with that, if you're creating it with a limited access, but still access to the public, that should serve as an incentive for people to also be able to connect further and to join uh, into your Patreon. Right now, even within our community, I did have it where prior to me doing some upgrades where the public channel, when people join the Patreon, um, I've done, again, I've, I've upgraded my, my Discord multiple times over the years. I've literally, the Discord that we're using right now within Paradigm Shift is actually like the it's the second or the third iteration of a discord server meaning that i literally created a discord server a few years ago and i did just what i told you i created it open to the public kind of like a social experiment where i'm just like yeah i just want to bring as many people into it as i could um i didn't really have a membership tier set up quite how i did then i was still learning um and then eventually what would happen is that you would get a few bad apples things would get a little bit the waters would get muddied and things like that and then eventually i would just be I have to be like you know what tabula rasa clean slate let's focus on keeping this very intentional. The intention of a Discord is incredibly important. It has a vibe to it. It has an energy to it. If you got some people in it who are not fully aligned with it, it spoils it. You know, people might join it for a day and be like, hey, this is really exciting. But then you got people just bringing in this, this very, you know, it could be like very chaotic, unintentional, just like very, you know, whatever energy it is. But if it's not fully meant for what the space is there for, you're going to get a lot of people just saying, oh, like this is, you know, whoa, like, I don't know if this is for me type thing. So if you are creating your, your server, either create it very privately and then have it as something that's much more manageable for you. Um, not something where like, you know, it's just like, and again, this is speaking from experience and from other people who I work with. The last thing you want is to create a discord where you have anxiety when you're not with it meaning you know you're basically just like oh shit like what am i going to walk back to today and you go in there you're just like oh god there's like some crazy argument about politics like this isn't what this is for and then you're trying to clean it up and you're trying to you know tidy up this this mess so you want to be able to create your, your discord very intentionally so it's a reflection of the energy that you put into it within the discord the other things that you want to be able to have is have clear guidelines and rules you have full control over your discord if you've got your guidelines set up and again basic guidelines saying you know respect each other respect the space this is what it's for speak with the you know concise messaging if there are people that go against these guidelines you can remove them that's okay your discord server is not for everyone your content is not for everyone and that's okay if people come in and they are not in alignment with what the space is meant for kick them out. That's okay. You know, they'll move on to something else. They'll find something else that's more of a resonance with them, but don't let one or two people just kind of spoil the energy of the space. So keeping it very intentional with who it is that you're working with. So again, with Discord, um, creating a variety of community interactions. It's also valuable for setting up your, your additional value through your membership roles. Um, sending out, it's also a place where you can send out additional um, links for your Zoom, where you can basically set some channels up that are only viewable to your Patreon members, much like what we got in our Discord server, where um, that's where, again, in addition to posting on Patreon, I also post into the Discord and say like, hey team, reminder, you know, this is where, again, Patreon's a little bit different. With Patreon, I would put up one post a day if I have an event. With the Discord, what I would do is I would put up a post in the morning and say, hey team, uh, we've got an event coming up later today. Let me know in the chat if you're gonna attend. And then you use that space for people to be able to communicate back. It's a direct and immediate communication. 30 minutes before my event, hey team, sending out a reminder, get ready to join in for the event. At the time of the event, hey team, time of the event, let's go. So think of the, the Discord as again, kind of like your, it's your production space. It's the behind the scenes when it needs to be. It's the place to be able to communicate with the team. Um, it's using it for whatever creative purposes you wanna be able to use it with. There's no limit to what you can use your Discord for. That's the thing. It's just gonna be relative to what your community and that's why with our, our Discord server, our Discord server is a little bit different. I don't expect you guys to build one quite like how what we've got. But again, my Discord server, our Discord server is created as a space 
to provide other creators the value of being able to post their content into it so it becomes a collective media feed. This is where, again, you know, for, for Cassius, I know you're, I don't think you're on the, the Discord just yet, but if you join into the Discord, you'll be able to see is that this is something where, say, for example, you've got new videos, I can set it up so it automates it. So when you post a new video, it shows up in the Discord. This is something that's an additional feature that I've purchased with an additional bot. It's a little bit more advanced, but it's pretty cool. I'm setting up some really cool upgrades. And again, if you've got an upcoming event, that's where I can post about it through our Discord server because that's what it's designed for. It's designed to feature different members' events. And again, for all the Patreon supporters, that's what our, our Discord server is used for. It's used as a, as a collective a collective audience to be able to help support you in being able to, to bring more people into the content and the services and the events that you're creating. So just moving through this really quick, the way how Discord works, you create an invite link. So within the Discord, you would basically um, create an invite link and then that invite link is either something that you are sharing only privately or it is something you're putting in your link tree, your beacons, your profile link in, in Discord. And then that's where, you know, you direct people to it. You create a video, you create a graphic and say like, hey, join our Discord link, links in my profile. People go there and that's where they find it. Um, the other thing, again, you know, with the Discord, why it's helpful, it's a great way to be able to deepen the relationships with community and also establish leadership. It's a place for, for you to really be able to, to step into more of your role as a leader. It's also very helpful for being able to create routines, guidelines. Uh, so again, routines with events. And then again, it's also important to be able to have guidelines. Again, I'm just going to go through this real quick. There's not too much longer after this. Um, the important thing with the Discord, keep it simple. There's different ways you can grow your community, private or public. Is it going to be more of a media feed or more designed for communication and chat interaction? Exclusive member access. I'm just kind of reading off what I got. Uh, removing trolls. It's okay to remove trolls. I've already mentioned that. Creating regular engagement, but also setting specific hours on when you want that engagement to be. Think of it as an office space. You can close it off when you need to. Give yourself a time to be able to relax, come back to it later. Use it with intention. Creating value for the community, a place for people to be able to interact more, have those kind of ongoing chats as well. Making it fun, making it engaging, talking about the things that are extension of the content that you're already creating, using it as a space to be able to coordinate with your members, especially if you're doing like research and be like, hey guys, we got a discussion. So say for example, Cassius, okay, we've got a topic coming up that's going to be talking about astral projection. Let's use the Discord as a team for those of us who are on the panel to talk about what we're going to talk about in the video before we even get there. Post your links, post your research, let's coordinate. Duh, 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 duh. And it doesn't have to be something where it's like a million messages a day, but even if you're just creating a little bit of a backend log there, um, it's great to just be able to keep that coordination going because you don't get that type of coordination just through Patreon. So if you got your Patreon members, the Discord is a place where, again, like a Telegram chat, like a whatever chat, it's a place where you guys can interact, but again, keeping it very intentional. The last thing you want is for it to be spammy. You want it to be very intentional. And uh, again, combining your Discord with your Zoom links. So when you have your Zoom links, you would post your Zoom links into the Discord just as a reminder to say, hey, everyone, join now type thing. Or even ahead of time, hey, everyone, who's joining today's event? Let me know type thing. Um, you can combine your Discord with bots. There are different bots you can utilize. Again, I've got a bot on our Discord server that automates posts from TikTok. Uh, also automates um, posts from YouTube as well. Those are extra, they cost money. Discord in itself is free though. It is free to use. Um, there's a chance to be able to upgrade your Discord for Nitro. Uh, that's an option. It's not necessarily required. It gives you a couple extra perks. Um, you can also get uh, this uh, a Discord bot that grants membership roles. So when people join the server, it gives them like a default role. And again, that default role can be to one of just a viewer. So they can't comment on the chat unless you've given them that membership role. So when you give someone a membership role, you basically right click on their profile, go to roles, add them as a new role. And so if they join on your Patreon, they send you a direct message, hey, this is my username. You go there, add their role to that Patreon level, and then you put it in the chat, welcome to our new Patreon supporter, da, 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 da. create that interaction, create that meaningful relationship, create, use your Discord to build morale, use it to build hype, use it to get people excited, use it to be able to create a heartbeat within your community. Almost done here. And um, yeah, the other thing, when you create your Patreon, you can create it as a community, like a com you can turn your Discord server into a community. It's a type of um, version of Discord server. Uh, it doesn't change much, but it does create a welcome screen when they sign up, when they join your Discord, they create a Discord profile, they can use it on desktop or app. And it basically says, hey, this is our server. Here are a couple things you need to know. And then with that, again, that's where you link them to a specific channel. Um, and having that welcome channel is very important. The welcome channel in your Discord, that's like where they land on. And that says like, hey, welcome to my server. This is the intention. 
this is an example of our schedule. This is uh, our Patreon if you haven't signed up for it. And uh, here's a couple of videos of some really cool things as well, et cetera, et cetera. And here's the guidelines. So again, the Discord is helpful for building momentum and continuing to interact with your core members uh, behind the scenes between events and just to have really cool ongoing relationships that you can build there over time. So let me just show you real quick, a quick example of uh, the Patreon and then we're basically done after, or sorry, of the Discord and then we're basically done after that. I appreciate your guys' patience. Uh, this has been a very valuable recording and that's why we did it. Even though if we don't have a lot of people tuned in right now at the live event, I know there's a lot of people are gonna be listening after this. So for all the members, I hope this has been something that's been super valuable for you. So real quick on my uh, Discord, so when someone lands on the Discord, in addition to the welcome screen, which I can't show you right now because I'm already logged in, they would have a screen that says, hey, welcome to the Discord. Here's a couple of channels that you want to know. Within mine, I'm not even going to read over all of it. It's basically, this is the first channel. So when you go here, uh, this is where you would get your link. You go to events, uh, or sorry, invites, and then you get your link. That link uh, is the link that you would send to people. Another thing that you can actually do is to take that link and go to tiny URL. And then what you would do is basically you would take that link, put it into here, and then you would create an alias. So you could be like, be like my discord server and create that custom link, which I'm not going to do right now. And then that link is a, something that you could put in a, into a graphic as an example. So when you create like an Instagram graphic or even a TikTok video, you can say like, join our discord, follow this link, tiny URL, you know, Eloise's server. Cassius the server, something that can visually just like type out really easily. So having that invite link, um, very, very important. That's where you're gonna send to people. Again, our welcome screen, this for me just kind of goes over things. Uh, it directs them to the guidelines. It talks about the basic setup for our Patreon, our, our Discord, we're basically on ours. They can view everything as a media feed, but they can't chat in it um, unless they're a Patreon member. Again, that is something I recently changed. At one point I did have it where they could chat in the main feed, but right now as our community is going, uh, it's basically just for Patreon members, but that also creates more incentive for them to become Patreon members. And again, it just gives me uh, more focus on my Patreon members. Here's a basic schedule of our events. And uh, here's the links to things that they need to know. And then here's a couple introduction videos and here's my item shop. That's about it. Guidelines and rules. Here's our guidelines and rules. Again, with any of you guys here, I can help you set up your, your, Patre your Discord servers. I can give you a template and we can start off with. Uh, I also have an announcement channel. This is where I'm posting, uh, or sorry, the announcement channel here. This is where I'm like literally just posting kind of like freestyle writing and things like that, telling people what's going on, uh, giveaways and things like that. My Patreon tracker, this is where I let people know how many uh, Patreon signs we have. Uh, our schedule, if you guys, you guys don't need to create entire channels just like this, and I'm not even going to go through all of them. This is our schedule for, for the week. Um, one thing that I created that's kind of cool, um, this is just like a little bit extra, but I'll just give you guys a little bit insight into some behind the scenes stuff I've done that's a little bit more advanced. There is another bot that you can use where basically you can turn your Discord server into a browser accessible Discord. This, this image right here, like this is our Discord server, but it's accessible within a browser and also through a mobile phone prior to people joining. So this is like a little extra thing that is actually my profile link now that I utilize for our schedule where basically I post to the Discord and then I send out this link in my stories and in uh, my, my profile link in, in Instagram and TikTok and people can see the upcoming events. So that's just a little bit extra. That's a little bit more advanced, but there is a way to be able to make it so people can see inside your Discord prior to even logging into Discord. It's a little bit more advanced. Other things that we got here are member introductions. This is where members introduce each other. Uh, for us, we got our member database. That's a new feature. I'm growing it. Um, for another thing here, this is a place where I share like classic videos. This, this is important. This is our members only events or members only info. This is where I basically say people, I tag my leading members. Those are our Patreon supporters. Hey team, this is our upcoming event. This is the event that we literally have right now. Here's the Zoom link posting it there. I've already posted that to the Patreon, but again, I'm posting it to the Discord anyways, just to be able to keep it clear. Um, these are my events for, uh, these are my channels for specific events throughout the week. Yours guys would be a little bit different. Again, I'm not gonna get too much in the details. And then you got your main chat, you got your leading member chat. This is where we kind of coordinate behind the scenes. Uh, the main chat is just kind of where we introduce members and also where we post announcements for going live and everything. I'll do a separate video for um, instructions for leading members a little bit later as the updates get complete. And then again, from here, stuff that you guys don't need, really need to focus on because yours is going to be a little bit different. Uh, but then we do have specific discussion channels. So this is where, you know, for you guys, you might want to have specific discussion channels. And this is where, again, you know, for Cassius, you'll probably want something like this, where for your Patreon members, the value of being able to have these separate channels, hey, this is where we talk about CE5 and alien stuff. 
Hey, this is our channel where we talk about dreams. Hey, this is our channel where we talk about meditation. This is our channel where we talk about tarot. And then I got a few more uh, fairy lore, astrology, diet and exercise, cool visuals, et cetera, et cetera. And then a couple extra bonus places, uh, recommendation for books, et cetera, et cetera. So again, this is just using the server that we've created as an example. Yours would be a little bit different, but the core things would be there, the welcome channel, the guidelines, and then the chats, and then the coordination for the members, and then the, the additional discussion sections. And that's basically it. You don't need all of these channels. These are extra just because our server is a little bit different, but yours can be quite simple. You could literally operate your Discord server with maybe like five or six channels. So that's me just giving you guys a quick overview of the Discord. So in conclusion, and then we'll just open up for final discussion. Patreon and Discord can help you focus on what you want to do for a living. You can build it over time. It will take a lot of work and consistency, and Discord can help you build the community to optimize the morale and coordinate with members further, to manage it, organize events, and create sacred intentional space that will change people's lives and, like I said, help assist with the shift in consciousness. So that's my ted talk thank you guys for coming let's just take a moment here to be able to answer any questions because i know i kind of went through that pretty quick um but yeah let's just talk about discord here cassius eloise you guys got any quick questions as it is right now about discord did that make sense i know that was quick so it did um i am gonna focus on patreon first but yes the discord seems to pop out at me like even when you were just when you there said is discord, value to it yeah yeah so instantly when you were talking about that um like at the beginning of this conversation uh a discord notification just popped up on my phone and i don't get discord notifications so i was mm -hmm. like instantly i'm thinking mm -hmm. okay this is something i'm gonna be doing yeah um i'm highlighting it here with my notes so i'm gonna have to do more research on that later i'm gonna focus yep. more on patreon yep but um by the way is tiktok gonna be doing them stories i heard you say tiktok stories and i was curious yes do you not have those yet because i know i know within i know within mine um literally for for my tiktok when i go to my tiktok and uh i go to create like a new tiktok for mine there's like an option where it says quick <laughs> It says quick or it says camera. So if I click on camera, yeah. uh, that's like a regular TikTok. If I click on quick, um, that's the story feature. And even when I do, it? it's just underneath. It just says quick. So even if okay. I were to just like film like a quick little video and then I go to the next screen for me, and this might not be for everyone, there's a button right there. You can't see it, but it says post to stories. Oh, you're hearing the audio through. So yeah. post to stories. You have so added like short. Too, and YouTube has shorts, like the yeah. Same thing as stories, yeah. Yeah, so if you're on YouTube, you could be posting shorts as well. Um, but yeah, so that's where for me, I use my TikTok stories or quicks, whatever they're called. Basically, that's where I post like my announcements um, as well. Some people see them and everything. I've kind of been experimenting with it. Do you not have that feature yet? Is that? No, I looked it up when you said okay. it. I was like, they just say TikTok stories. So I went Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, and they're rolling it out, I guess. Yeah, so it's a it's a trial. So they're only trying yeah. it out. So they said they might put it up next week. Yeah. That'd be okay. really cool because I've only been doing stories through Snapchat and Instagram. Yeah. So if we could do TikTok ones, that will be that will be bomb, right? I'm That'd be good. Yeah, because that that would be an easy place for you to like promote your events, let them know about your Patreon and stuff exactly. like that, without having to do a whole video and waste the algorithm on that sort of thing. Because I don't yeah. think posting to the stories it doesn't seem to like affect the algorithm so much it's kind of a quick place where you can just kind of like toss things up when it's relative so i, I just do like sometimes mine is like literally taking a graphic from my instagram and posting it as like a post in there and just adding a little bit of music and that's about it and i literally just do it super quick but for those yeah. who see it, they see it so yeah 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 but yeah, going back to, to what you're saying, I agree for, for what it is that you're creating, focus in on the Patreon and then the Discord, that could literally be something that could come like two or three months down the road. And, and even if, you know, in a, in a couple months from now or even sooner, if you just want to build the template for your Discord and that's something that we could literally do in like a one-on-one -on -one session and then at least you got it and then you can decide and be like, okay, do I want to start using this? Because I think once you start getting um, an idea of who your core members are, the people that are going to be on your panel, you're going to want to coordinate with them. So that's where having that private discord for you would be a place where you're just like, Hey, here's the upcoming event. Let's share some links. Let's talk a bit about this ahead of time without it being a public. 
I would not encourage you to make like a public Discord server for you. Again, I, I think it would just kind of like create more problems than it's worth. I would focus on having a private Discord, which entices the value of your Patreon membership as well. If people are just like, yo, like I'm curious what's inside the private place. And it, and it is way easier for you to manage, you know, especially if it's just like maybe like a dozen people and slowly builds over time. And every person who's in there is there for the right reason. And you don't have to worry about trolls and stuff like that. So I thought about, I was already thinking about the people I would have on the panel. So cool. you know, have like the universal tickets so like the unlisted link yeah and then from there i would have the other people on the panel um i already have some people i can think of on the top of my head that i'd be cool. putting on like other influencers that i'm friends yep. with right they would be bomb and put on there so yeah i, I think that'd be good I, I need to look into it more but definitely yeah. you sparked a lot in me and i'm definitely cool. gonna i'm gonna start with this this is awesome happy to hear man yeah and that's the thing like even with your discord it did something where even if people aren't signed up for your Patreon, you can still just like say like, hey, like, you know, like this is what I'm doing. Join my Discord where you can coordinate with me and the other creators, X, Y, Z type thing. So um, you can use discernment to be able to just invite people who you want to your Discord. And then again, you know, the people, because that's what even sometimes within our community, I'll do that where I'm just kind of inviting members to events that I knew would be a good fit for it. And then I'm like, yeah, you know, like sign up for the Patreon when it works for you. Like that's not yeah. really something that I'm too focused on and really just focusing on, again, your core thing that you want to be able to do is like build that team right like that's like who do you want in that circle who do you want in your community for some creators who are listening to this you, you don't know who your team is yet maybe you're fairly new um but again you're putting out that vibration and you're seeing who's attracted who's resonating for some other creators you're like oh i already got an idea of who that first core group is going to be send out those invites let them know of those events you know xyz and you can just kind of like keep moving things forward and, and yeah with anything that you want going up man like if, even if there's like some panels that you got up if you want me to be involved with them more than happy to be able to help assist with that dude and, and and again, just let me know behind the scenes and we can just kind of like help you get set up and anything yeah. that you need, we'll just get it all figured out. And again, keeping it simple too, you know, that's, mm -hmm. that's, that's the important thing. So, yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. No problem, man, dude. Thank you. Like, thank you for the work that you've been doing, man. Like it's, it's exciting to see like how popular your content is right now. So I can only imagine that, you know, you know, what does, it, what does the community want next? You know, like these mm -hmm. other type of events and stuff like that, those are going to be pretty cool. I can imagine. So yeah mm -hmm. and i want to see um i exactly like you were saying i was like i was surprised that there's so many people that want to hear this stuff right but mm -hmm. um i definitely want to see how this could form into like real life in-person events like i yes. was thinking about that yeah so wow this is this is going to change a lot for me that's so cool. i want to see how that's going to form into that as well yeah this will be kind of a, a good lead up just kind of like build the build the the idea and then yeah you know like yeah totally totally so cool cool man Anything else that you have any questions about right now? Yeah, like how are you feeling with this? Feeling pretty good? Yeah, I'm really liking this. I, I needed this really bad, definitely, 100%. Cool, man. Happy, happy to share. And uh, yeah, even again with this video, like if you want to send this video to other people who might be interested, like please, man, by, by all means. Because again, you know, like with what it is that we're creating here, bringing together those other conscious creators and like, and it's kind of cool because like even with what you're creating, like you're like, that's a big part of what we do in our community. Like, if our community is something that you're inspired by, like mimic it. So like if you're creating a community of more conscious creators, like please, by all means, like that's like a totally a thing that that's like already been replicated multiple times here. So like conscious creators creating teams of conscious creators is mm -hmm. like a pretty cool thing. You know, it's like squads of superheroes basically is the way I see it. So yeah, 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 yeah. So cool. Sweet, man. Well, like I said, we'll definitely keep in touch and um, any questions I have along the way, just let me know and, and we'll go from there. And thanks again for being here, dude. This is awesome. So 100%. Thank Thank you so much, bro. I thank appreciate you, man. all your work you do. Thank you, dude. Thank you, dude. Likewise. So cool, cool. And thank uh, you. I want to echo. Always, this yeah, with please you. go ahead. We yeah. get just into like any closing comments and then gratitude, and then we'll basically be done after this. So yeah, Eloise, go ahead. How is this for you? And any questions? Um, that you oh, it was today? great. And I yeah. I kind of set up a, a Discord on my own and I've been just like kind of playing around and like with ideas and cool. stuff, but um yeah i feel very guided to have like been here and um i think your suggestion about neuro a neurodivergent space i already have like ideas about like creating downloadables and um stuff like that so that just like triggered so much um possibility so thank yes. you thank you for that and um I love that you're so like take this idea and like run with it and like yeah. because I like that if it like, works use it it's like lift other people up because yeah. you're you're not like holding on to it like this is my idea 
yeah. you can't have it. <laughs> so um, yes, just much appreciated. And I just want to throw out there too, it would be cool to do like service exchanges. Um, mm -hmm. um, Cause I know a lot about Zoom and I could help like moderate stuff, but I don't have like a large following. And so like, yeah. I'm just thinking about ways we could help each other out and like use this community yes. for for uplifting each other. Yeah, and and there is going to be again like I've right now we've kind of been like in a transformation period within the project. What's coming up in the project is going to be again me really focusing on encouraging the creators to create their own events. Within that, what will also be helpful is to be able to have some members on board who would be able to help as event producers. So if that's something that you wanna be able to help out with, this is something that um, I do wanna be able to do soon where basically we would have like a, a community Zoom login that would just be for members. And then you guys would do your events. We would have a producer there for the events and you would record them to a cloud. And then we would be able to like upload those afterwards and just make it as easy as possible. I've already done this before in a similar format. Mm -hmm. and, and I know it's a, a something that we can kind of do it again that way. So when we do have members in the community, that's like, yo, I want to host an event on this. And we're just like, here's everything you need. And Eloise is going to be there to be the event producer type thing. So yeah, I'm definitely interested yeah. in that. I am facilitating a meeting tomorrow morning, literally. Perfect using to yeah. webinars with the panelists and everything so awesome. yeah I, I know all of it so i'm i would be happy to like that's provide cool provide that for people in this space yes and thank you for offering and, and another idea that did just come to mind with the patreon um again there's so many ideas and, and i know and i didn't mention all of them within this uh little ted talk or whatever it is in terms of exclusive content you guys could create content that could even be things like you know like pdf documents um, you know, it, it could be like kind of like like a, some sort of like some sort of inspirational index, you know, something that's kind of like a like a book or some sort of like instructional thing that you can give to them, you know. So, you know, even for you, Cassius, if you wanted to, you could create, you know, and, and whether this be a book or even, you know, it's like here's when you sign up for my Patreon, you're going to get five videos that go into detail about how to be able to astral project with me as your instructor. And those are only available to the Patreon supporters or something. And with that. Maybe there's also like a parallel ebook that's almost like a journal prompt or something. And again, you know, even for you, Eloise, some sort of journal prompt that, yes, like something like that, maybe like, go ahead. You're muted, I think. Sorry, I would, no, I was just saying, I was literally writing it as you said it. Cool. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, no, absolutely. Like creating some, something, um, yeah, that, that could be like a practical tool for people to use that, that, that they can take and, you know, like have on hand and stuff like that. Totally useful. Yeah. And that's exactly yeah. what I was thinking with downloadables because I have like a notebook that I use yeah. every day for my night. This is my like, I, my schedule every day and I like do it. And I was nice. like, I bet you people would love to have that like template yes. just to use for themselves. So, yes. um, and I know there's stuff like that out there already, but at the same time, not everything works for everyone. So yep. why not put even why not? more out there? Make your own. Absolutely. That increases the value. So yeah, no, everybody here that you guys got a lot of value to be able to, to share as well. So um, Eloise, any, any other questions? Again, we'll, we'll get close to wrapping it up here. So no, that's cool. No, I'm good. Thank you so much. Cool. cool. All right. Um, so again, you know, for, for everybody here, uh, Candice, thank you as well. Candice, did you want to even just like share any gratitude and then we'll get close to wrapping it up or if you have any questions as well? Yeah. Um, I just, I just want to say I was, um, watching you do the, um, discord survey. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be frankly honest. <laughs> I, um, I like the Discord server, but you know me. I'm not very um, computer person. And like I said before, I don't have people around. So um, I want to use the discord server for like if i have um events that i want to post because i just finished uh playing on online and so i like to um use the discord server for that but mm -hmm. um I couldn't put it up myself. So I was going to ask you if you'd be into pu putting it on the Discord server. I don't, 
Um, other than that, it's just easier if you send me events yes. by message or to my email yeah. and send me the link because it's just yes. easier. But I love staying in connect with you and everyone. So yeah, and I just want to say that uh, uh, I support everyone. So I like to in, um, be involved with whatever people are like doing, like I'm totally there. And also I want to say that with everybody sharing what they're up to, I already see that they're doing it and it's gonna, <laughs> we're gonna rock the world. And it's awesome. You know it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Candace. And and yeah, Candace, if um if you want to try connecting to the Discord server, I'll direct message you there and, and we can at least just give it a shot, you know, even if yeah. you're just kind of using it to maybe just get like some of the updates and stuff. We can see it. If if it's something that you feel you're comfortable with, we can use it. Otherwise, if you prefer yeah. to just direct message me and I can post on your behalf, that's okay. And you'll still um, be getting I rather, the notifications. Um I'd rather do that, like you okay. message me sure. and and po po uh, but like I like to have like have a meeting or a session mm -hmm. and you show and you show me the sure this cord server sure. yeah that's something we can good. do that yeah yeah, yeah. We, we we we'll we'll do a one-on-one -on -one session and and we can just you know if we'll we'll do our best to just be able to to set you up on it and we'll decide yeah. if it if it works for you and everything so cool um, yeah no problem yeah. Candice. we'll we'll do our best to make that happen so yeah cool awesome i'll work around your schedule because okay. i know that you're always jam packed yeah we'll make but it work, i so. appreciate you um making time for me it's awesome problem thank, thank you again you. for being here awesome thank you yeah, thank you <laughs> yeah. cool <laughs> beautiful all right team well um oh it's only 10 19 okay so we only went just a little bit over two hours that felt like it was like i feel like i feel like i've been standing for like four hours quite frankly but <laughs> let's just uh let's just uh get close to wrapping this up here so again for those of you um who are tuned in right now we'll stop the recording in a couple of minutes if you guys want to stick around for a little bit more brainstorming that's okay with me it doesn't have to be long and then we'll we'll conclude it after that again for those of you who are tuning into this in the future if this is something that's inspired you go ahead create a patreon create a discord do it as much as your heart calls you to do and know that if you do want to be able to just like have me in your corner have that additional support be a part of the community definitely encourage you guys to check out the patreon if you haven't already yet again we got a lot of awesome things happening through there uh, we got our basic again like 11 dollar contribution to join as a leading member the 33 dollars to be able to get additional one-on-ones with me etc etc most of you guys already know this but again just inviting you to be able to check out the patreon if you're listening to this in the future feel called to be a conscious creator and do want to be able to be a part of the community in that manner and also get access to our exclusive events and so forth and so on. Uh, the recording for the previous dojo sessions are posted in the link for this video. So if this is your first one, go check those out. Because even though like the sequence of this one is relative, the other ones still have a lot of value in them in their own way, especially the one that's like all about being able to like create events. So if you're thinking about creating events, check out the one that we did all about like hosting events. I get into a lot of details there and, and the other ones, um, again, about earning income, it just kind of opens up some additional ideas for you. All of these things are here just to kind of like give you guys new ways of seeing possible realities of how you can be able to rock it. That said, if you guys have any uh, any questions or anything you just want to reach out to with gratitude, feel, feel free to send me a direct message on Discord or Instagram, Mystic Spider-Man, and uh, leave a comment on YouTube if you're watching this in the future. And uh, if you're tuned in on Spotify, uh, again, feel free to join us on the Discord on any platform. Join us on the Discord, and uh, you'll be able to get notifications for the upcoming community events. And uh, all the creators that you've seen on air here today, even some of them ones that jumped off a little early, uh, you can find their links in the YouTube info here. And uh, please go ahead and follow them and connect with them and uh, show your ongoing support. 
last call. Is there anybody who just had any uh, questions or gratitude that you guys want to share? I think uh, we're pretty much ready to wrap it up. You guys have already expressed your gratitude. So cool. All right. So with that said, I'll uh, just thank everyone again so much for being here on behalf of myself and all of the other shifters of Paradigm Shift Central. Uh, I wish you all the best on your ongoing journey as conscious creators. Thank you guys so much. And yeah, as always, much love and keep it shifty. We'll see you guys in the future. Woo, 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 woo. Bye guys. Woo, woo, woo. Sound effects. All right. Ending recording now. Thank you guys.